YouTube could let you just play music a little bit. Sure. I would do that all the time, man. I play I play real beats, things like that in the background. Hey, real quick though, as a, as a start, no, I did want to give a shout out though. Yo, I don't know if y'all saw this. I had a we do that round table show and they made this Jameer Gibbs shirt. I don't know how they pulled this thing off, like being able to put these out there, but they sent it to me today. And I was like, this is fire. So they're doing like the shirt. Honestly, you should do it the respect. This. Can we see it? See it? Can you stand up? You mind? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's Sorry. nasty. Wait, who makes this? It's uh so if chat no, there's a we have like an NFC round table show that we do. Now it's by oh, yeah. Yeah, so this is like it's like that old old school style, man. They got this, they sent me the Jameer Gibbs one. They have a NFC North Championship shirt, which is one that I want to get because I want to get like a flag or something for that. But they sent me this one because I guess it's like the first one they dropped. So I want to show them some love. I just got it today. I put it on because I was like, this thing's fire. It's heavy. It's heavy, but it's it's fire. So it's legit then. Um, it's a like good quality. It's heavy. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. I mean, you I know, might sweat a little bit, but outside of that, it's good. It's how much stuff. they sell them for? I don't even know. Yeah, if you, if you can, I assume that. I, I, that I, 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 don't, I don't even look. I'll have to look. I had to look. But I know I like, because they asked me what player, you know, I would do. And I I think I actually gave them a Lee McNeil first or something like that. But like, I, whoever I gave them first didn't have like pictures online. So he couldn't really use anything. You know, there's certain dudes you give them, there's like three pictures. It's like, all right, we can't do nothing with that. But Gibbs had enough pictures. So they just did a Gibbs one. Whose jersey did he used to wear all the time? He was like a third string kick returner. Running back. Me? Oh, uh, Jefferson, Jamar yeah. Jefferson. Hey, yeah. he's still he's still hanging around though. Easy, still <laughs> hanging around. No, I'm not. Man, I'm just saying. It's probably the name you gave him. They're like, yeah, this guy has no pictures. DM, what are we? What are we doing? <laughs> Yo, I know that I may have given him Jamar Jefferson. It was something like that. It was some way out there. I don't know why I did that. It's probably Kendall Vilder or something. Like, yeah, yeah no. Derek Barnes. Barnes actually had a good season. He probably had pictures. Out there. Barnes did have a good season. I had. Bar- Real talk Bar- though, do you think Jameer league Gibbs league. is a top fifteen running back in the league? You see that one list? The guy, the guy had him all. He didn't have Gibbs, K nine, or Jonathan Taylor on his oh. list of top fifteen. One of the worst players in my life. What if yeah, I get no, Najee crazy. Harris over him? Who lost his starting job and halfway through the season? It's just like no, crazy. Also like yeah, seven no, that's wild. carries and only like sixty more yards. Man, no, that's wild because. Now, I don't know about you guys, but every time I look at a running back, I'm like, yo, does he remind me of Gibbs a little bit? Like, I almost tried to look for a guy that makes me think of Jameer Gibbs because this was so – and it was like – I feel like – I did anybody expect that, that we taken that high when we did? Like, at, no. no, I don't think anybody – and, it, and it, there was no – there was never, like, a projection. There was never a draft site that, like, had that dude going that high. And all of a sudden, he does go that high. And then we, you know, we will go a year out and it's like, okay – yeah, he was worth the 12th pick, especially when you end up like really seeing who got drafted this year. Like Will McDonald went a couple picks later, and I liked him. I don't think he did anything year one. So it's like, bro, he got like tons of value for that pick. Like it made a ton of sense looking back, but there's yeah, still like, like traditionally so I know that on PFF, like with their show, I don't think it's Sam, which I disagree with Sam like almost 100 percent of the time. Uh <laughs> still saying it was a bad pick because of the value of running backs. No, oh, man. When you get a good player. That is, in my mind, damn sure top 10. I think you even probably make an argument for top five. You can like, make an crazy. argument. But, like, you, you know, you got it right. You got the pick right. Like, it's if you're, perfect for the team. Like, yeah. perfect value for this specific team at this time in our rebuild. If you yep. rewound time and you, you took Ed Reed number two overall, you got value. It. Yeah. You, you got whatever it cost, you got, the, <laughs> you know you got value. Yeah. Like, you got a good ass. Yeah. Exactly. Did he? How much money did he make DeAndre Swift having a good year as a rookie running back? Good money. That's good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, he did. just a year ago, they weren't paying running backs anything. All of a sudden, DeAndre Swift gets 27 mil. <laughs> Bro, I, I could be, hey, I could be wrong, but I, I feel like in a way, the Lions kind of like put everybody on to like, hey, running backs still matter. <laughs> like, like yeah. there's still value there if he's big time. Because it yeah. gives you right. Everybody this offseason started signing running backs. And then I think Swift, I could be wrong. I think he actually ended up making more than Montgomery, which is crazy looking back yeah. at too. Yeah, he did. It was eight. It's a no, year later, though. But year later, yeah, there's like a little inflation there. But like, there's no way my <laughs> Swift's better than Montgomery. Way different crazy. styles. But like, at that point, you would say, because I don't know what you guys, but I thought like the whole year, I was like, yo, can we start using this guy in the receiving game a little bit? And then when they did, it's like, all right, he's good at that too. Would you also look at like if you said that Swift was more valuable because he's a little bit more of that back than Montgomery? Then he would also say that the Gibbs pick makes even more sense because we still haven't tapped into that side of it much at all. And it feels like it's still so much there. And with like the hip drop tackle rules and like it, the game is becoming more oh, offense oriented. So 
there's a chance we could see a little revival in in running backs mm -hmm. or like maybe there's a, a a case to be made that a team like the lions goes offense in the first round like it's not necessarily they don't need a receiver um right. it, it that's one of the positions actually they they probably should draft in the top couple of rounds but do you make that case that you go receiver or even offensive lineman more it's more valuable in the first round this year just with the way the game's going like I, I'll say this, I, and I think I think when it was just me and Easy were talking about this, but I do feel like, and I said this about later round picks, but the more I thought about it, I'm like, you know what, this might go into almost every pick that they make, is like, definitely for later rounds, it feels like they have to have like a unique trait. Like, if you're going to draft a later round guy, there's something like that's going to be unique about that player. We, we kind of see this to try to like stick them around. I think that makes sense. Like, instead of going with a guy that's like just solid everywhere, like, let's go get a guy that could be special in some areas, so maybe that you know, he can find something, but, it, but Jameer Gibbs feels like that. Maybe that's because last year's draft just wasn't that strong, but Gibbs kind of feels like that a little bit where it's like, he's so unique. That's the thing. Like someone said, you, you know, no one reminds you of Gibbs. Like we don't know his 40 time. You don't need his 40 time, bro. There's like no one that's that fast at running back. It's like, it's like, it almost looks, it's like when Chris, Chris Johnson type of speed, but he doesn't play like a, a fast little running back. You know what I mean? Like he's still tall. It's weird, man. I don't he know. like runs like, I think he runs like Isaiah Pacheco, like how, how hard or how violent he runs as a running back or when he gets in the open field, but he's shifty. Like shifty. I, I, I hate to say, but it's not Barry Sanders, but you know what? It's just like that quick. You can say it though. I said it. Her more, her, her more allowed it. I, I asked him like three weeks in a row. First week, he's like, "Hey, Cole, well, relax, relax." So uh, we go two. Should All right, relax. Yeah. I, so, I mean, easy. I don't think you would have seen this player. I all I know is, and I may have told you this before, but I can remember we were. I think it was after the Denver game on the way home. Uh, me and my dad were in Indy watching that game, and on the way home, we were talking about Jameer Gibbs, and he said that he reminded him of Eric Dickerson, and I, I wasn't alive to see Dickerson. But I was like, okay, I wonder why. So then I was like, okay, so I, we pulled up the highlights while I was driving home. And this ain't like no deep dive or nothing. But like Dickerson's height with how fast he was at that time, it's like, okay, I could kind of see what he was saying here. So maybe, maybe that maybe that is something that's legit. Like because uh, you think of that style, you're like, oh, he's going to be a big receiving guy. Necessarily, he wasn't really, wasn't really until the season got going. And then he also wasn't like, he doesn't play that shifty, speedy style, elusive style. He plays like a, a big running back with awesome contact balance. So I don't know. I thought that comp was interesting because I've never seen him play. Um, Chad, we're going to get this thing rolling. But before we do, while they're doing their thing, uh, we got to show you something. Ryan. Man. No, you're good. Do your thing. We're going to show you. Uh, make sure I got the right one here. Okay, bam. Yeah. Movie's coming soon. Movie's coming soon. We talked about Dune yesterday. Now we're talking about this one. Chad, what's the title of this movie? The Detroit Avengers. That's <laughs> yo, that's cheating though. We can't just put Avengers in. Oh, there. sorry, sorry. Is it cheating? I mean, it's a little bit of copyright. It's par partially copyrighted there. The pretenders, the pretenders. I'd like that better. Ten that's Avengers. <laughs> but no, man. This easy. Hey, first off, we got to give credit. Easy made this. This thing's fire. Thank this you, thing's fire, you. by the way. Um. <laughs> hey, break down what we're seeing here. What are we looking at? I saw. So I, I uh. I the collaboration itself was epic to be honest with you. Like, uh, Broder and I were talking before the show, like, you and Mike yourselves are the OGs of Detroit Lions YouTube. Yeah, um, so like, there's there's Captain America and Iron Man right there, and then you just happen to have actually, I don't know, Herman's got to be what Nick Fury, Godfather, Godfather, Dad, uh, Herman's Herman's Nick Fury because he's, he's the one that put it together. Yeah, but then I, I yeah. don't know who am I, dang. I wanted to, it, it felt like an epic collaboration though. So I wanted to make it look like a movie poster and the, the idea was Avengers. So that's why I was going for there. And right. uh, there's, there's a, the Detroit Lions YouTube Avengers. You and yeah, you, you're probably Captain America. Cause you don't say swears. Uh, Michael, well, we have a rapper weird. in the back. Huh? So like what's yeah, you do. A sad comp. Yeah. You look badass. I, I do have one of you doing the same pose, even cooler to be honest with you, but your head's down. So I don't know if anyone would know it was you. Oh, you had to use the one with your head up. What about the first one I said to you? you didn't. Yeah, that's uh. <laughs> let me question our friendship. Not gonna lie. Not gonna Yo, lie. you were like you were gonna rock with it though. If I would you have used that if I didn't <laughs> send any other pictures? For sure, I would have just to just to pick on you. <laughs> Yo, I was kind of hoping you would. To be honest, I'm like that's gonna be so funny, bro. I was I was so cool with it. That's why I sent it over first. I'm like, now nah, he probably actually wants something that's like more legit than that, because that. That's like the most random picture. Actually, 
like a backstory of that that was a picture that was gonna be a birthday present it was the person i cut off was holding a picture frame so the birthday present was like yo here's the picture frame and here's a picture of us holding the picture frame and, and then the i don't know what be the creep yeah i don't know what the pose was there i don't know if it was like a timing thing or what but <laughs> yo all right we'll keep it moving um chat let me know which avenger i am i don't have an, i don't have an answer you're for sure captain america though I'm not I'm not as familiar with like all the yeah I'm gonna, I'll look at a list and I'll figure it out Chad that's your job we got a show to do let's get let's get this mock draft rolling yeah let's do it so we're doing a we're doing a, a mock draft for all NFL we're gonna alternate uh easy or broder is gonna have to do the lion pick regardless of how the order works out so, or y'all can collab on it. Exactly. I know. I don't even know. Twenty nine divided by three. Like it might just be. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Did you do the math on that? Random. Nah. I was just like, yo. When we get there, if it if it hits one of you, like, boom. Just you got. Or you guys right. can Hell like, yeah, collab Michael. on it. It'll be a surprise. You know what I mean? Uh, okay. And then, uh, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We'll see how far we get. We're gonna kind of aim for two rounds, but we'll just see how long it takes, and then we'll go from there. I'm gonna. We're gonna use PFF for this one, but yeah, we're doing all teams. So. Okay. Oh. I mean, I feel like a lot. Wait, what? Ronan said too. Oh, okay. I thought. Sorry. Let me get this over here. No, you good. Let me good. I'll make this bigger. This is hard. Vision good. Vision's bad. Dude, I'm Vision. That's what. Vision. That's what Denver Blues are. Vision yeah. Bad. Vision is uh. They make him to be kind of perfect. To be honest with you. A Black Widow. Broder's Black Widow. Yeah. It'd be pretty hot. <laughs> mm. Oh, is that a girl? Yeah, she's. That's Smash. It's Scarlett Johansson. Oh. Mm. Wear a nice tight black suit, nice and tight, tight like a tiger. <laughs> yeah, I'm Falcon. Yeah, I'm just like shut the. Yeah. I'm Falcon because yeah. I'm just one of the other only black Avengers. That's that's messed up. What is Hawkeye? All right, I'm sorry, I'm done. That's good, man. I don't I don't know the Avengers that well either, so I was kind of just listening. I know I know who the characters are that you're talking about though. But I, I don't know them like that. So how I don't do I know who's part of it? Is like is like Hawk part of it? Hulk, yes. Yeah. How old do we figure out who's 29? You went to Michigan smarter than me. Yeah. Well, uh, Three, right? Two, five, eight, 11, 14, 17, 20, 23, 26, 29. So it's. Whoever picking second. Two, yeah. Okay. You got it. Oh, yeah, make it fun. What, Jack Labrador? I never, I don't know how to play that. Rock, versus scissors. All right. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Oh, oh, on the I, shoot? I shoot, yeah. Do you shoot? Yeah, shoot. All right. Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All you, baby. Two. I'm Dead going three. Lions. I got you. Dare me to pick JJ at three? We'll see. Okay. okay, so I got the first pick. Okay. This is the hardest one of the draft. Yeah, um, yeah. No, I I really do appreciate y'all giving me this one because I this, this makes it uh, a lot easier. Yeah, so we'll just we'll keep it moving for time reasons. Caleb Williams, number one uh, to the Bears. Yeah, we're not. I'm not gonna break this one down. Who's who's two though? Break it down. Easy, easy. All right, let's get it going. I'll keep a list actually. Um, I'm gonna go Drake May. I'm not gonna waste too much time with this one. Uh, I think everything that people hype up JJ for, Drake May kind of has too. He just never really plants his feet, from what I can tell. Did you make the pick? My bad. I didn't, I didn't hear if you picked somebody. You son of a goose. No, nah, like, I heard you uh, talking about Drake May. You took Drake May? <laughs> Drake May to the Anaconda Chargers. Are okay. we throwing a, 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 I'm a, so a, confused, bro. I'm not even like, wait, is there a trade here, Easy? Or is the Chargers trading oh. up for Drake May? No, is I'm that number the, two. That's the, yeah. So I'm taking Drake May. Okay. Is that like the. Okay, I didn't know. I thought that was maybe the. Oh, the Anaconda Chargers threw you off. I was yeah. just seeing if you were listening because. No, I was listening. Yeah, 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 well, I listened to that part, not the beginning though. You know how it is. My headphones connecting to random. No, stuff. I think I All think right, he has all the same attributes as JJ. Just obviously not the winning, and then uh, I think he just doesn't plan his feet well. <laughs> just not the winning. Yeah. <laughs> you think he doesn't plan his feet well? You said. No. Not when he's out there. Is there? Flash. I mean, I. Don't... Yeah, like is it? Is it? It feels like uh, this is kind of the way I have seen it, and I haven't gotten to the core X that much. It feels like if there's a guy that could be concerned about outside of McCarthy, just because he hasn't done much. Um, it'd be probably Drake May, like, feels like the concern of, like, this thing could go, this thing could get really bad fast, like, when you watch him, like, may maybe it'd be good, honestly, give him some time, I don't know, I get the sense, like, you, you understand all the talents there, 
But whenever I would watch Drake May, like he, you know how we like talked about yesterday, where it was like your certain player, you'll watch him and then in the background you notice someone else. It feels like with Drake May, a lot of times that could happen in like bad ways where you notice him and it's like, what the heck is he doing here? Like, what's the decision making here? So I feel like if someone's going to fall flat, especially going to Washington, where I don't think it's a great supporting cast, Drake May could be in a rough spot. I don't know. That's kind of how I look at it. That'd be is my he that much different than Sam, uh, Sam Howell? Like, mm. like he's, bigger. he's definitely bigger. I, I know he is different. Yeah. He's a little bigger, but like, it's a similar like type Howell. of quarterback. Yeah. And I don't know. Maybe it's the uh, uh, Mitch Trubisky, the North Carolina quarterback. Wait, did Sam Howell? Yeah. Sam Howell was North Carolina. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Sam Howell got moved, right? I might. Yeah, he went to the Seahawks. Yeah. But I wonder how much like that affects. I guess it doesn't look like it's affecting Drake May in this draft, but like JJ right. McCarthy, I guess is more for the case to to take him. I'm not taking him at number three, but like if Zach Wilson never happened with the Jets, or if Zach Wilson was good, like would JJ be even more coveted? Like, like you know, he's the good looking dude with blonde hair. He's got all the intangibles, all the so or all the traits. They do the side by side. They do kind of look like they kind of do. Yeah, they do. But Zach Wilson's not good not good at all he went to byu yes yeah honestly i'm not gonna lie to you guys i thought zach wilson was gonna be good like watching like tape like that he had everything you could yeah you could think of he's just it's so crazy he's almost he's better off schedule than he is like running the actual offense yeah i don't understand it i really don't i mean to be fair to him it's kind of been a mess in with the jets like we don't know what rod is gonna look like but like it's been a mess over there, bro. You're right. And I, it, and they, they never like, and it, they never would like, maybe. And I guess maybe they will going forward. Like they sign a, it's like they never really like just said, okay, you're not the backup. Let's go actually sign a legitimate backup and let him be the guy. It's like they just kept throwing him out there. Like, dude, this is a mess. I remember there was reports last year. It's like, oh, I don't know if he even wants to play. And they just kept putting him out there. It's like this yeah. is a disaster for Zach Wilson, bro. You got he. He's like the definition of dude needs a new environment. Like he needs to get this needs to reset for him somehow because this is a mess. I want to say this before you make this pick for the Patriots. And I, you know, I think we're doing trades again. So if you want to move or whatever, you know, okay. make those calls. But uh, this is something, this is an idea that I heard. And I want to know what you guys think about this one because I think this is super interesting. So the idea that the New York Giants would trade up, I think it's a possibility. Go to three from six to three. I think that would make sense. So if, if the board goes like this, maybe that's Jaden Daniels for him. I could think last time we did this uh, with Easy, we, we didn't fun. have them take a quarterback. But if they were going to take a quarterback, I think that it's interesting to trade with a team like New England. I think New England would definitely be willing to move out. I think they'd be cool with that. They always like to move out. But how about the idea of them doing with the Giants and the Giants giving them Daniel Jones? That way they don't have to draft their quarterback. They can go with maybe their best receiver, depending on who's there at six. But they could still say, we got a new quarterback in the building and Daniel Jones. So they still at least have someone in there that had some great athletic traits. I think that's an interesting trade idea. That is interesting. I... I think because because New England has they signed Jacoby Brissett I think to a one year deal, and I I have the feeling that that I think he's going to be the starter year one whether that's for the entire season uh, it's I don't think it's going to be as, Bailey Zappi's still on the Patriots right um, yeah yeah I, so. I, I I my guess is Jacoby Brissett's that guy who he was part of the old New England culture but he is a different type of quarterback than they've had. I actually think it fits perfect to who I'm going to pick with this next one. Um, but that's not a bad move. I, I have a weird – Daniel Jones reminds me too much of Mac Jones and Zach, like, of these quarterbacks that haven't really worked for them. Maybe that's just recency bias. I don't know. But if I were the Giants, I would move up. Yeah. So let me ask you this then. So if you think he reminds me – he reminds you of Mac Jones – could you see a scenario in which they go J.J. McCarthy? Because like it does feel unlikely, but if you just made it simplest, well, like, hey, he's the next big time Michigan quarterback coming out, and if and if this is a guy that even though he's not Bill Belichick, but he comes from that background of like, okay, you understand playing the game under Belichick, and like, man, we're just gonna manage the game, right? That's exactly where McCarthy's coming from. It almost feels like Bama in a sense, where it's like when we draft a player from there, like the connections that they have with Alabama. We know exactly what we're going to get. And McCarthy's, to me, what makes him unique is like with Mac Jones, you knew there was athletic limitations. With McCarthy, it's like he didn't really do that much in college statistically, but it's like you almost believe that there's upside, yet he still is coming from one of those schools where it's like, well, they just managed the game. You know, so it's – I think it's interesting that he could really be in play here if they didn't want to do that. But this is your pick, man. So, hey, let us know what you're thinking. Well, who who, who is the Giants? Um, Oh, I'm Uh, the Giants. 
Do you <laughs> want to trade yeah, up? Yeah, you can make it a trade. There you That's go. That's the question. I, I don't want to trade up this pick, but if Jaden Daniels went two to Washington and the Giants wanted to trade, I don't know how the Patriots would know this, but the Giants trade up for Drake May. And if I'm the Patriots, I don't I still don't want Daniel Jones. I may take JJ at six if he's there. Mm-hmm. Or at three. If uh, if Jaden Daniels already taken, I'd rather the Patriots either go with JJ or the guy I'm going to pick, which is Jaden Daniels, falling in their lap. Um, okay, I think I think Jaden Daniels, he's got experience and he's going to be a stud. Uh, I don't like the Patriots situation. If Daniels wasn't there, I would trade back, even if it doesn't mean, even if it doesn't include drafting JJ uh, in the top ten. I would just still try to get accumulate some picks. They. They need so much, especially on offense. Uh, so that's what I would do, do. You think? Do you think then Jaden Daniels outweighs moving back? Is that what you're saying here? Like it outweighs so. where you can get back? Yeah, okay. I think he's that talented. I really don't know that. Like I haven't done any deep dive on Jaden Daniels. I just know he's he's a stud and he's super athletic. Um, I see him. I see Gerard Mayo really liking that style of quarterback. Uh, I just think it's a it, it's a new era in New England, and that kind of yeah that that's the start. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. that, that that shakes it up. Go ahead, Easy. You got something for that? No, I I was chopping finish the sentence. I I agree. I think it. I got uh, <laughs> no I, I, new era. I guess it puts a face I mean, to it. it. Puts a face to the new era. That I I the, the sense that I would get is like, hey, if you're talking about like how can New England get the most wins in year one. I think you could make case Jaden Daniels could help them out maybe outside of McCarthy if they can really like hit a really good draft and they could actually get immediate day one players. If you have like your typical standard draft and they drafted Daniels, Daniels feel like he could add the most wins in your one just because he'll go off script and do his own thing. He'll just make plays on his own. He's not going to be relying on anybody else long term. I don't know. But like right yeah. now, he'd probably give you the most like, yo, he can just kind of win game. It's almost like when Kyler Murray came back to Arizona. And they were just like, hey, this team's actually pretty darn solid. Jaden Daniels could have that impact. I, I get the sense. Yeah. I, I'm high on JJ, but I think he needs a year to sit behind somebody. I think his bet his best solution is going like at the end of the first round, but just how quarterbacks are being treated, he's gonna be a top ten pick, if not top five. Um yeah. but not because he's more talented than Marvin Harrison or neighbors or Dallas Turner, just because someone's gonna go get their quarterback. Yeah. Hey, I, I, I hear you. That's a that's and it's like that's the that's the weird balance where part of me kind of believes like Minnesota might be able to just sit there at eleven and get him. <laughs> like they might. Like it, it's like it, for most people how they're gonna grade, most people won't have him as a top eleven player. So like there's just a part of me that believes like they're just gonna be able to sit there and get him. It always feels like quarterbacks are pushed up, but then until it's not, until it's like, well, that that does that does make sense that he didn't go that high, that no one moved yeah. up to go get McCarthy. Like it does make sense that people didn't think that you know going up to go get McCarthy McCarthy was necessary. Instead, they just took best player available because the receivers are loaded and were full with tackles. Uh, my man says he's a big Fuaga fan. So this was the interesting thing about this with his length. Like he could really he could really hit at guard. I'm with you. From what I've seen, Fuaga. I know Easy's high on Fuaga as well, but like yeah, he's, a lot too. he that that man's just going too high. All right, we, um, yo, all right, we're all on board with Fuaga. He yeah. just needs to fall a little bit, make it interesting for us. Okay, Arizona at four. I think if man, this this feels like another trade spot though too, to be honest. Right. Like, this this would make a lot of sense to trade, but I because this team does need so much. I don't think cornerback. Can you go this early for cornerback? No, I don't think you can go this early. Early. Um, they could use everything though. I could well, how about this? Because JJ hasn't been drafted, like Vikings have yeah. two first rounders. I don't know the, all the finance like that. If they traded with the Vikings for eleven and twenty three, they would have three first round picks, which sounds great and all, but is that too expensive? Like, you do have to pay these guys. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think it would be. I mean, I don't know their cap though. I don't know their cap though. Yeah. Like, you gotta, yeah, because I mean, unless it, I guess, yeah, yeah I mean, that fourth pick is gonna be probably what, like maybe a six million dollar cap it. Right, and once you get outside of that, you're probably pushing more to like three towards the end of the first round. Got so, you, got you. I don't, I don't know, but I could. I mean, that's just kind of off top yeah. my top of my head. Yeah. There. Um, yeah, yeah, it I would be both Vikings picks. Pretty sure you do. Yeah, I do. Yeah. All right, let me ask y'all this though, because I this is this is like the weird thing with this. Like, it would make sense for them to trade back, but it's also like, who are you moving in front of? Because I can understand, like, okay, we're moving in front of Tennessee, we're moving in front of the Giants, but if they weren't willing to move up initially. Would you feel that it's necessary to go up from 11? 
The Vikings? Like, if you were the GM and you were like, all right, hey, the first three picks were made, and let's just say you have the intel that they're not trying to move up to four, and either of those teams are, would you then feel that it's necessary to move up in front of those teams still? I think the other piece of it is, like, the Raiders behind them. Uh, True. I, I don't They actually have it as a need. I was going to say, I wouldn't be surprised the Saints took a – because they, they have Derek Carr – Initially, I, I saw JJ as a guy who probably you'd want to sit, but after like realizing like how much of a true like winning quarterback he like he's willing to sacrifice his just for like the the benefit of like playing like winning ball, I think he could start somewhere. But I feel like he's a guy that I'd still would want to sit somewhere. I feel like Saints, I wouldn't be surprised by either. This could be a trade up if if not the Vikings or or Broncos or Raiders to go up and get JJ. This could be someone just wanting to go up and get Marvin Harrison Jr. Like going to get yeah. a receiver. Dang. Point two. That's that's true. If, if there's if there's other teams calling for a quarterback, they're like that, they will not win out going for the receiver. But if there's no one calling, you're right. Maybe someone does try to surprise go get the receiver. Um, so you have the Vikings easy, you said. That would yeah. mean that easy you also have Charter Broder has in the Giants. Are you are you thinking about trying to move up here if you're the Giants? I just want to get a sense before I just make a pick. The Giants, right? Yeah, I'm not. You're not. Okay. Well, we'll we'll keep it simple then. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna end up making the pick. Unless easy, you were thinking about moving up. No. No. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna. I think you have to go receiver with who's out here. I think. Yeah. In, a, in a weird way, like this won't happen. I think Roma Dune says an interesting fit just because it's so. It would it would be just so good to stabilize yeah. that team and where they're trying to go. Like they got a lot of like we don't know who's playing out there, but they're like all about trying to build that culture. So like if yeah. you can just get it like a stabilizer, I think that makes it work for you. But I'm gonna go with the shock. I'm gonna take Malik Neighbors at four. Wow. Um, I don't hate it at all. You're not the only person with that take, by the way. I think was it Chris Sims? I think Chris Sims had Malik Neighbors over uh Marvin Harrison Jr. too. I think he's yeah. right. He's just as talented. It's the if Marvin Harrison turns into an all pro receiver, or, you know, he starts looking like his dad or, or fits the name, then it's the your job's on the line. But they're not that far off in terms of their talent. Neighbors is an absolute stud. Yeah. I, bro, so like the, I think that they're definitely different stuff. I get the, I get the sense, and they're not exactly the same, but Marvin Harrison kind of gives me like Garrett Wilson vibes, probably to another level. But like where you have like the route strength and you know he's gonna be a big time receiver, you just know that. But at the same time, you look at Malik Neighbors and it's like his run after catch is so darn good. I mean, it's so fast, it's so quick. I mean, he just he, it's it's like a it's a whole different like it's a whole different style. It feels like of what that guy's upside could be versus what Harrison will do. And I think for this offense, they feel like they just need they need a little bit more. Like I like when McBride came along. They don't have no juice on the outside. I think with Kyler Murray running around, you get a guy like this that could just take it as soon as he gets in his hands. I love that fit. So. I'll go neighbors and then easy. You're up, man. Chargers. Uh, listen, I didn't expect this to be the situation right now, wow. but how do I how do I pass on Marvin Harrison Jr. with a team that just gave up Mike Williams and Keenan Allen, and I have a quarterback like Justin Herbert? Although I've been on record, I feel like Brock Bowers is a Charger, some way, somehow. Whether it's a trade back, we don't know how Jim Harbaugh values just that. That style of offense, on top of the fact, too, that I believe Greg Roman's the offensive coordinator there. I don't want to trade back with myself. So that's not really fair. You mean to the Vikings? Yeah. So they get I can do it. You could trade back with yourself, yeah. You could trade back we'll, with myself? We'll, Deanna and I will be like the, the overarching. Uh, we'll be Roger Goodell. Roger Goodell. Like we'll, we'll, or uh, uh, David Stern. And you, it's the Lakers trading for Chris Paul. And we're just going to deny it. Yeah, because we want. <laughs> oh, but how do you pass up a Marvin Harrison Jr. though? Even if you're Jim Harbaugh, like you that's what I'm saying, bro. That does sound kind of crazy. <laughs> so what about you, the Vikings you offer you 11 and 23 plus taking it plus a second rounder next year? Look at 11, Bro, this, this maybe 11 is going to get it. This is that point that you were saying, like a team could trade up for a receiver. <laughs> this is now. If no one's called about a quarterback, someone's going to get that receiver if they're trying to move out. <laughs> no yeah. question. This is best case scenario for Harbaugh. Oh, man. True. Honestly, if I'm Harbaugh, I'd probably do take that 11 and 23. Do it. Will the simulator, what's the simulator say? They'll, no, they'll take that. I think they'll take that, yeah. Take that, take that. I think, yeah. What's the chat saying? Am I getting killed for that? Oh, they're not. We can force it. I, I don't think it. I don't think it 
matters to be. I mean, Marvin obviously would make so much sense, but like I think he'd still get a receiver. Brian Anton says trade with Vikings. Ben Foster, Chargers drop back. Yeah. Can't yeah, hear you guys can start over now. Thomas Owens. They need those rookie deals right now, too. Their their caps all over the place. Yeah, I'll trade back with myself. 11 and 23 for five. Yeah. Okay. You'll be able to get a good offensive lineman or a receiver. Yeah. In oh, either shit, of the picks. Still picking. Oh God. Yeah. But uh, if you're the Vikings, you trade it up. The quarterback. The quarterback. This is McCarthy, wow. right? Wow. Giants. Well, you just <laughs> look who just fell in my lap. All right, give me JJ. Yeah, this is wild. <laughs> yeah, this is this would be wild. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I forgot to do the trade part. So now I'm glad as the Giants I didn't trade up with the Cardinals. I'm taking Marvin Harrison Jr. Here's our first number one receiver since Odell Beckham Jr. Yeah. It's probably the easiest pick they'll ever make. Bro, that's nasty. <laughs> Yo, that's so nasty to get him at six. And they need it too, though. Like the quarterback stuff's interesting, but they need that so bad. I love that. Um, Okay, on to the Titans. Yeah, the Titans are interesting. I remember last time we did this, we took an offensive tackle. Uh, they definitely addressed receiver. So I don't know that I I need to do something like that. I think this probably stays on the offense. I love adding the offensive line to this. Like last time we took offensive tackle, I, I think that makes a ton of sense. But honestly, man, I don't know who I would put there. Like Joe Wall's interesting. Now, he's definitely interesting. I don't know that he's like the most gifted offensive tackle. But he's real. He's real sound. Shoot. I don't know that I'm as high as they are either. They haven't ranked five. I feel like that that might be a little bit high. But now it's like, yo, I, I get the vibe with it. The Titans, man, they're they're all about those tight ends, man. They, they got a big time tight end. Brock Bowers just might. He might just shake it up. He might just shake it up. I'm gonna take Brock Bowers to the Tennessee Titans. We're gonna shake it up here. Let's go. Big time weapon for Will Levis. I this is this is the Titans are kind of in that same thing of like, okay, this is like a new beginning. And I think it's not to the same extent. But he separates himself because he's just so darn unique. And I think you go and get that piece right here. I think offensive tackle is interesting, but I almost feel like I'm more so just plugging the offensive tackle just because I need offensive line rather than arguably just taking the better player. So I'm going to go Bowers. So wow. again, DeAndre Hopkins, Kelvin Ridley, Brock Bowers. Hey, how, how do you make it work with Will Levis? Obviously offensive line, but bro, get him some weapons too because they've been crazy. struggling with that for years. What is the, the Traylon Burks? Oh, no, it's tight end with a crazy last uh, name. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Uchi, Uchi Wawa. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's uh, here, let me. Uh, oh, and and they just cut one of the tight ends too, or one of the tackles too. You hope uh, that Cushionberry like, has another big year. Peter Scrantz, he takes another step. He's playing left guard. Andre Dillard, 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 right? Dillard. Yeah, you'd say that one. Yeah. Hey, I, I don't think you can go wrong with Brock Bowers. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, and, I'm unless not there's an injury, they do have Petit Freyer, who they had drafted for the left tackle. So they do need a right tackle, I would think. Dylan Raiden's probably using the guy there going forward. But their interior is not bad. I mean, their interior depth chart is Peter Skaronski at left guard, which we know he can go to offensive tackle if they wanted him to. Cushionberry yeah. at center. Daniel Brunskill at right guard. Uh, I think that's the former Wisconsin offensive lineman. So that's not a bad offensive. I mean, it's not good. They definitely need to add some talent there. But yeah, I mean, shoot, let's shake it up. Let's just go get the best player. I think. I think if yeah. you're like starting to try to build out a team, I feel like you that has to be your focus. I feel like it has to. To be honest, too, like I'm pretty sure the Bengals. I just looked it up, but I think that's where you're coming from. Yeah, the Bengals OC is the one who got that job, and they didn't go tackle with Burrow. They went and got him a weapon. So maybe they do that. Maybe they do snipe Bowers. So. Yeah. So this is this is you easy, right? Elkins. This is where Elkins. I always get the defensive player. Hell yeah, I'm for sure grabbing Dallas Turner. I don't know why he's so far this PFF board, but to me, he's the number one defender off the board. Uh, we talked about how yesterday with Verse, you get in that oomph, like the strength and speed. Well, I think you get everything with Dallas Turner and the upside. Actually, probably not everything. Let me let me back off that. Just the upside is insane. I think it's the best long arm rush. Uh, the probably second most explosive guy in this draft class off the line. And they got everything. They traded for a wide receiver. They obviously got Kirk Cousins. They already got Kyle Pitts. But the offense is fine. The offensive line straight too. Let's get some defense. Give me uh, Dallas Turner, number eight. I don't oh, think he makes it past them, to be honest with you. In real life. That that seems like the most mock player to a specific team I've seen. Is that yeah. one? I've started he to hear cornerbacks, but yeah. It makes way too much sense. Okay. Brothers up with the, the Bears at nine. Yeah, the Bears. 
man, I'm probably because they have Braxton Jones at left tackle. Otherwise, I'd trade. I, I'd just snipe up Joe Alt. I don't think they need Roma Dunze unless you're you're grabbing him as a uh, once Keenan McCardell leaves. Keenan McCardell, uh, Keenan Allen uh, uh, leaves after one year. He's a really good just replacement for him, but I'm probably looking to trade back for someone who wants that, you know, that left tackle or a Dunze. A Dunze is probably the one. Um, even if it's back one with the Jets, he needs a wide receiver. Um, Let's see who I got and one pick and four. If you need me to go to a certain position group, let me know. I can. Um, what about. What about. Yeah, I- Pittsburgh or oh, you so you're trying uh, to move Pittsburgh, back, and I think they have a cardinal rule where they don't take wide receivers. Yeah, it feels weird even talking yeah. about it. Um, it is a need though. Dallas, got Seattle, and they would look really good on the opposite side of CD Lamb, but to go from 24 to nine, that's a lot. They don't have they don't have much. Who's picking for Dallas? Um, it's Dion. Isn't it? I don't know. Is it? I'll, I'll take Dallas just to do it. I'll I'll be Dallas. Honestly, what I would do anyway, I would draft Jerzon Newton or Byron Murphy, but I'm going to go Jerzon Newton. To me, it's how how can you get to Jared Goff? Like, I think their offense looks nice. I like Montez Sweat. Um, maybe they trade back, like, oh for someone who wants a receiver. And I'm going to stick with Jerzon, but, like, someone who wants a, a Dunze, you trade back and you try to snag – a uh, lot to or verse in the middle in the teens um, to pair with Montez Sweat, but it'd be a nightmare. It, as the Lions, and I talked about this a lot this last year. The the key to almost every game was making sure that pressure doesn't come up the middle uh, on Jared Goff. So I think that's what every team in the NFC North should be doing, um, if not solidifying their offensive line. So Jerzon Newton is it. You got Man. Caleb Williams and Newton. That's terrifying. That's Bruh. very hmm. scary. Do not like that for the Bears. God, bad for the Bears or bad for the Lions? Bad for the Lions. Yeah. Good for really good for the Bears. Yeah. Really, really good for the Bears. There's not new, so, he might be the most underrated player in this draft. Although PFF has put him up at what do they rank him? Eight. Eight. That's high. Um, but I think that's probably fair. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, y'all you you shocked me with that one, I'm not gonna lie. The interior defense line had me thinking though, because like the what you said, like for the same reason you made a great point there, breaking down like playing a division. If you look at it like that, they could use interior defense line. I was thinking Byron Murphy, and I was just like, I don't know if he'd fit. Like, like I don't know if he has the size. Then you went with Newton, and I'm like, hey, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm a little shocked. I didn't know. Um, I think I knew Easy was pretty high on him. I wasn't sure where you were at. Now I know I think he's the most underrated potentially player in the draft. So that's it. You definitely shook it up. I was not expecting that. I feel like the public has him underrated because no one's really talking about him or he hasn't worked out because of the, the Jones fracture. But I feel like scouts know. Like scouts know, like Johnny Newton is, he's one of them, you know? And the, the Bears had an up close and personal look at him uh, playing at Illinois right down the road. Yeah. So there's that. They could probably, if you look at the teams coming up, Man. they could probably still get him if they traded back to 14, 15, 16. You know, the Chargers have a lot of needs, but the Broncos might. I don't know. I think you could get him a little bit later, but hey, Bears at nine. So now this okay. is to you, the Jets. Yeah. Bro, the, the, with Joe all on the board. See, that's the thing. I, I get the he sense, man. They, they too, though. What'd you say, Easy? Uh, uh, they signed that, the guy from Dallas. Oh, Tyron Smith? Yeah, they got yeah. Tyron Smith. Yeah. They have both tackles. Like, they have their starting offensive line. They just have injuries all the time. They added Simpson in free agency. They have Elijah Vera Tucker, who's played well, but he's just never healthy. Like, they have their offensive line. They're just never healthy, I guess. I mean, that's their issue, and they're old. So, like, the smart pick would be, you know, take an offensive lineman and just figure that out. But the fact that Roma Dunze is just sitting there, and I, and as much as they, they did address that receiver position, they added Mike Williams. Oh, yeah. But it's they like, what's outside of that, bro? You have Garrett Williams and Mike Williams. That's what you're going to go in with, that receiver? I think smart you go offensive tackle. Jets will go Roma Dunze here. We'll just we'll take the receiver and just plug him in. They didn't. Oh, they didn't get dollars. Yeah. All right. So the Chargers. By the way, that makes Aaron Rodgers very happy. Finally. There you go. That's what Absolutely. I'm saying. Yeah. The Chargers. Chargers offensive line is actually kind of set. Right. They could still get Joel. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, 
Slater. They got Wait, Slater. Slater play right right tackle? Yeah, they moved. I think they moved around like a couple times. I could be wrong on that. Slater and Joel. A lot of people have them taking Joel at five. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Who else is on their offensive line? They that could be a Fuaga. If they want to play rough and tough, pound the rock. Um. I'm going to pull it up for easy. Their offensive line right now. Yeah. So it's so it's Slater at left tackle. They have Zion Johnson, the Boston College. He was an early pick. Corey Lindsley at center, though. I think he missed most last year. They have Salier at right guard. Trey Pipkins at right tackle. So they could probably use some right offensive line help. Maybe a little bit over there. You got 23 too. Yeah. I'll give you Joel. I don't know how you pass up if you're going like a BPA approach and Jim Harbaugh likes uh likes the line, offensive lineman. Michigan's been an offensive lineman like factory since he's been there. So give me, give me Joel. See, I'm, easy. I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little surprised you didn't go Fuaga there. I'm mean, gonna know you're high on him, and, and I think last time we talked about he does the fit. Chargers, that physicality. Yeah. I thought you'd take Fuaga there. I just, I, I, I just you have Joel ranked higher as a prospect. Okay. For me personally, how old is Fuaga? He doesn't even have his age. Fuaga. I mean, I don't think I don't think there's any wrong between the two of them. I think Joel, I, I, I think he might be a little bit more sound in pass pro. Not wrong. Okay. Am I tripping? I mean, look, I, I personally probably would have taken Fuaga there. He's already playing right tackle. I would just plug him in at right tackle, and I would just let him roll. I think he's big time in pass protection. So I would have took him. Um, but to your point, like, in terms of, like, I think all three, le- like, both as a run blocker and pass protector, he's so smooth that it makes sense to you with all. I get that. I would have probably put took Fuaga there, though. But, I, I mean, I'm not going to argue the pick. It makes sense. Yeah, I think he fits what Jim likes to do more, to be honest with you. Uh, but Rashawn Slater, I'm pretty sure he played right tackle and was play, has been playing left tackle in the league. I mean, he could just easily bump him out to right tackle where he plays naturally. Played naturally. Did he play right tackle? I think he, he played right have, tackle in college. All, all I can think of is remembering the, the clips of him against Chase Young. That's, that's all that's in my mind right now is when that was a thing. <laughs> you see. Okay. Because they have him at left tackle as rookie year. In the past two years, they have him at tackle. That's what I'm saying. I think he moved. I think he played both. He may have. Okay. past two years. I think they flipped him around due to injuries. But he can. Let me see. All right. Let's see on here. Broder, what are you thinking, man? You got Denver at 12. and I mean. I'm Denver. I want to trade back. Oh, I haven't decided if I'm. They have. They could use some offensive line help. They need another receiver. They need help all over the defense, except for cornerback one. But you pair a cornerback with Sertan. What is what does Sean Payton like to do? What does Dan Campbell like to do? Hmm. I'll be go offensive line. <laughs> this yeah. made Javante Williams. Yeah. Whoever's that quarterback. This may be a spot for Fuaga or Quinion Mitchell. Um Pat Sertan, put it, put him opposite, bro. Who? Uh, I've, I've seen it a times. So the Chargers, the Chiefs, and the Raiders in their division. Um, it's tricky. I know a guy who knows a guy that they're pretty high on Bo Nix, but I just don't know if you if you if you cash that in at twelve. Honestly, that's why I'd like to trade back. Yeah. Um, Sean Payton long loves Nix. That's so Ryan. Ryan. Ryan knows the guy who knows a guy too. Easy. So you guys are. I know a guy who like knows. A guy, guy though. Like, he's, a, <laughs> he's a guy. Ryan, do you really know that guy, or, what is or it? do you kind of know that guy? Who's that one trade uh, option that they have on your screen? That that says forty two. So I don't think that. <laughs> Yo, Texans. Uh uh-uh. uh. Texans uh-uh. back around. Yeah. No, nope. like I'm mine thinking. Packers. Who you has Lions and Packers? Uh, mine just has one team. It's the Packers. Gotcha. Um, I'm not giving the Packers anybody good. Like I'm thinking Dallas. Like that. They need to. They need maybe go get Brian Thomas or even the Bengals. Who could the? So you want? So you you look at? Okay, hold on, guys. I know we we build it up a little bit here, like the main event, which is the Detroit Lions. But I've been talking about it on my show. Terry and Arnold visit the team today. That's not a guy you're getting at twenty nine. No, no. I think Brad Holmes is, and he has been in the past interested in trading up. I think you grab a guy that you plays for you this year. That's the mindset of it. Mm-hmm. Like they're in this this window. He, he paid the most money AAV. I would love this contract with DJ Reader. He got aggressive and, and acquired Carlton Davis. 
been aggressive this offseason and aggressive specifically towards the defensive side of the ball. At I'm at 29. You guys can shut me down too. Is your trade to make? Or to chat, you can tell me too. I'm willing to negotiate to move up to 12. <laughs> As that's it happened again. That's crazy. That's crazy. I was like, I, I gotta stop putting my hands up. Is what I gotta do. <laughs> Just move well, what are you offering me? Okay. So I want 29. Okay. This is 29 up to 12. Brad Holmes does like number 12 too. He does like number 12. That's the other part of it. All right. Let me let me let me get the trade simulator up. Actually, Dion, you got it. I will give you. I'll be willing to part ways. 29. Oh wow. The, in the trade simulator, the Broncos are not interested in this. In, well, tra in trading it at all. Hey, what am I interested? Hey, easy. How about yeah, yeah. we start here? It, if you want to pull this up, what did the Lions give up last year or two years ago for to go to from 32 to 12? Maybe we make some deal that's similar to that. 34 to 66. Okay. And they end up getting back a later third, right? Yeah, they got 46 back, which I think was a second. I think it was Pascal, maybe. So I, I wonder if it could be something where it's like, like 29, 61 for 12, and maybe you threw in 73 and you jump back to 121. Like, is that something you'd be willing to do? Or maybe mm, I want to, you'd have to get something future, I feel like, for that. I feel like that'd be too much to give up. You'd have to get something in the future, maybe. Yeah. If I'm the Broncos, I definitely want 61 involved. So I'd want 29, 61. And uh, how about a that's second like rounder that. next year? 2025 second rounder. That's that's. I'll propose that trade to you, or mm -hmm. or that's my asking price at the moment, not including David Putney. Two seconds and a first. How about next year's third? So you get a first this year, 29. You get 61 yep. in the second, and then a third round pick next year. One, two, three. I know this might include a lot of picks, but. If you do that, I'll give you. Man, they have some weird picks. Yeah, I'll do it just for the sake of this. Yep. I think it's a good fit. Like, I don't know if that trade would would work in real life, but I think the concept of this trade scenario I like. It's kind of similar to the one they made for Williams. Is we had higher, yeah, picks in that second, and they got a second back with that one too, though. I'm down if the commissioner approves. That's 12 for 29, 61, and next year's third. Next Unless year. you would rather have give up 29, 61, and a second rounder, and I give you back 12 and 121. Or, or any of those 121, 130, 121, or 136. So I'll say 121. Because as a lion, which you are, mm -hmm. I want to pick in between 100 and 164. I do too. There's yeah. so many good players in there. I do too. So a, a second, second and I give you back 121. 12 and 121 for 29, 61, and a 2025 second. Let's this, keep the third. I want to keep my second for next year. Okay. Just because I. That's, so something like this 12, feels reasonable. I'm going to be honest, man. What did you say? Something like this feels reasonable. I could be wrong. But a future third, a 61-29 for 12, and maybe it would be like 136, but one of these two, like that, I, I can one, see I'll a throw 147. It's fine. For 140, with 147 back? 147. 29-61, a future third? I think this could get done. I think this kind of deal could be. I don't think it's crazy at all. It's very similar to the Jamal trade. Very similar. And if Dan Campbell asked Sean Payton nicely, like you, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. He says That's the other part of it too. Yeah. Yeah. No, is we're, this not, we're trading JMO. We're not trading JMO. No, we no, have no, no, no. no, we're this. talking about the J like when JMO the Lions moved up to 12 to get JMO. That's what we're talking about. Ben Ben Foster said I would give up JMO for a new Gatorade dispenser. Wow. That's no, 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 no. Here, here's here's the worst thing you're doing. The, the the thing that you're doing with this is if we do two rounds, there will be no second round pick. So that's that that's, that's the fine. worst outcome of this. Because another reason why the Broncos might do it is they definitely need of picks because that roster situation is kind of ugly and they have no second rounder. So that's yep. another reason why I think they would for sure do it. Right. Yeah. You guys so do they don't want to go from 12 to 76. This they get 29, 61, and 76. Yeah. Like they, they, they have so many holes. 
All right, so we're forcing this trade. I think so. I, mean, I think this is reasonable. Right. The Lions at twelve again. Let's go. Two straight, three straight years. Yeah. All right. Be a trade. Oh man. Twelve. And you're going with Tarion? No, no, no. I was just saying, like him visiting tells me Brad's definitely not opposed to trading up. I think he's more interested in than, than not. Also, by the way, Dion, uh, that guy up north wanted me to ask you to pronounce uh, the cornerback for Missouri, not named Chris Abrams Drain. <laughs> hey, you know what's funny about that? So he was the one that yesterday was calling me out for an That's episode. what he said. <laughs> I, was, I, I promise this is not made up. I was trying to sleep last night, and it was in my head. I'm like, how do you pronounce <laughs> that dude's name, man? I'm like, Ray K. Strong. I'm like, Yo, I know I'm messing that thing up. So I can't. All right, we're not. We're not gonna do that. We're, the cornerback from Missouri, he wears number two. Um, that's what we'll leave it at because I have no idea. I have no Yo. clue. But we need a guy like that. That's what the Lions are missing right now is a guy's name that you can't pronounce. So I'm on board with getting one of those. Here I'll say Mark this because easy. This is your pick, right? Yeah. You're on Mark M. If the Lions did that, I would become a Packer fan. What are you doing to the Lions fans? Because they did it in 2022. Wait, 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 wait. Now look, man. I. I don't like it because you know we don't get a second round pick in the mock. But I I love it in in this sense. If we made this trade easy, and I'm looking at this board, I mean you could make a case. I think for guys like Latu, to me, this would be a no brainer. Terry on Arnold's to pick, as you kind of tapped on in the beginning. You said that they met with lines. I didn't even know he did that. We touched on it a little bit yesterday. I think he's the mm-hmm. best cornerback in this draft. Um, I think that for the Lions, they want a man coverage corner. He's young. The upside's ridiculous. I, I think he'd be a perfect fit opposite of Carlton Davis. But at the same time, I think he'd bring us so much upside. He's a, an elite run defender, which Brian Branch was as well coming out of the draft. So, like, I won't, I'm not trying to like sway you make your pick, but I'm just saying, yeah. Terry Nell is my number one corner. This would be the easy selection for me here. And I'm going to draw this out too long, but like, I was actually thinking Jared Verse. Okay. Yeah, that'd be now look, that'd be the Davenport trade up. That'd be like when they trade up for Davenport, which we also talked about yesterday when they when the Saints went from 27 to 14 to go with the edge rusher Davenport to put opposite of Cam Jordan, who was a big freakish and, and really just powerful that. edge rusher. You could argue you didn't pan out. That's very fair, but that's what they did. And I think Jared Burst would bring similarities to that. Hopefully it works, but I never thought about that. That's sh- intriguing. Should I be a man and lay on the table, or should I allow the chat to decide? Because they're also Lions fans. Nah, easy, easy. You got to make the pick, man. This is you, tra- make- you made the trade. You already made the big move happen. You're already here. We're running okay. out of time. You got two minutes on the draft clock, easy. And if I was Sheila Hamba, I would be pissed that you made that trade not knowing who you were going to pick. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> See, bro, look. This we're, is- we're just having back, we're just having no, back and forth in the I'm, morning. I'm messing with right? you. <laughs> because you know who, uh, Dion, you know who I love, too. That would just like, yeah. BPA, honestly, probably would be the pick. Okay. Byron well, Murphy. I don't know actually. Are you talking about Latu? Or are you talking about maybe Fuaga here? Murphy. Byron Murphy. Oh, Byron Murphy would be your best player available right now. One of them, yeah. Okay. Uh, Mitchell. I mean, would... Conversation too. What do they I, need? I'd, I'd they make this trade it. with the intention of taking Jared Verse. I'm being honest with you guys. Send it. So I'm. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm. Uh, I'm gonna take Jared Verse <laughs> out of Florida State. I officially I don't, like, don't like this trade up. I'm gonna be honest with you. Hey. <laughs> you I happen to agree with you, Dion. Speak on it, but that Dav- that Davenport scenario in New Orleans, like Dan Campbell was a part of that. Aaron Glenn was a part of that. Yep. And they brought Davenport back to Detroit anyway, so they're thinking like that. See, and that that and that. So this was we did this on Monday, and that's why I brought that one up because I'm like, yo, if something like dig crazy happened, like it would make sense that they've done this. Part of the fact that they have Davenport makes me think it's like, okay, but then why would I like the 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 examples there but if i have davenport then why would right. i draft another player if i see any kind of similarity like why would i put him on top of him but i i'll say this i don't i don't hate the player whatsoever and i think opposite of hutchinson for what the lions have basically told us what they're looking for is a guy that's going to collapse the pocket you couldn't went you couldn't have went with a better body type to fit that in jared verse so i don't dislike that at all run defense he's going to handle that probably a lot better than any of the other top edge rushers that are going to be sitting here especially at the point of attack my issue is this with Jared Verse. I'm just, I don't think he's the best pass rusher at edge rusher. And for, I think the way that you kind of sit like, hey, 
let's we want to win now that's that kind of thing i wouldn't have went for jared verse to kind of plug that hole and i think you can make arguments there for uh taron arnold too just in terms of like there's some breakdowns that you get and like i said he's a young player but i think cornerback is different than edge rusher like if i'm going edge rusher i think i would have went with like i'm getting this right now but uh that's i mean for me it's just there's there would be a gap between taron arnold and jared verse it'd just be as simple as that so i don't have an issue with any of the idea of it it's just the fact that he's on the board if he wasn't here if you said arnold wasn't available I would be more okay. I would be okay with this pick, to be honest, if you already had made the trade. But because he was there, I just think there's a gap between the two. So I just don't I just don't view Arnold as that caliber of prospect. I just think like this cornerback class is very, very top heavy, and he just happens to be in that top. Like if it was a, a sauce or a certain or uh JC Horn, I'd take the cornerback there. But I just don't see them grabbing a cornerback and then like having the expectations or that uh, maybe they don't care because they're savage they are dogs like that but having them have the expectation of being a cb2 and a super bowl contender like i think but bga wise I, I think you can plug and play jared verse so what what's the expectation with jared verse though jared verse you plug and play immediately uh he, he okay put him on this offensive line he's gonna see a lot more one-on-one -on -one reps the same argument i'd obviously make for a lot too but a lot more one-on-one -on -one reps versus other guys uh, when you have DJ Reader in the middle, you have Ali McNeil in the middle, and obviously you have Aiden Hutchinson too. Like he is, I, you made the comparison to Davenport. That is, I, I agree uh, to that. Like when Davenport is healthy, what he was supposed to be is the same expectation of what Jared Verse could be. I, I think you plug and play him immediately, and he's effective. The tape that I saw, and Latu has a bag, the, the deepest bag of pass rush moves. The counters are just insane. The hands are nice. But when I watched that tape of him against Fuaga, completely changed my outlook on him just because that's the caliber of Fuaka's actually a dog but that's the caliber of like offensive tackle you're probably going to come across at the NFL level it's like once somebody with some strength that's fine he didn't have that extra oomph to like to get up there so I did drop a verse this is Michael is it Lucci's or, or uh Lucci's I, I believe he's Roar Roundup also yes he that's is. a bar easy drop a verse now should apologize just like not apologize at all so I think <laughs> I'm kind of shocked that you think that versus and plug and play uh, that he, that's I, immediately plug and play. no i mean look i i would say my bad brother I, I was just this is all the only way i look at it like this is if you plugged in in the edge right if you plugged in jared verse to your point if you had it if you said okay i have to start both which i don't think you do i think a cornerback between a meek robertson and a healthy emmanuel mosley i don't think you'd have to start but i think he would just because he'd be better than all of them but, but i do think to, to get for a guy that's gonna sit in a, in well, here, a championship window the, yeah, well, this would be my thing is I think with what we have at edge between Pascal Davenport, like I think Pascal's part of the future. I think Davenport will get re-signed after the season. But if the Lions don't view it like that, then like because I view it like that, it does shake up drafting Jared Verse because then it's like, well, if you really believe in it that much, you wouldn't have drafted Jared Verse. But if you're not as high on that signing, so it makes sense that you would go that direction. But I think with edge also, in a way, even if he was just a pass for specialist, so you can kind of hide it a little bit more than corner, right? Cornerback, in theory, could get exposed if you have mm -hmm. him out there. To your point, he's young. You're like, hey, bro, he's got to handle it, and he just can't handle it. I My reason would be, one, I think Taron Arnold's a better prospect. Two would be, I also think that the position, I still think position for position, if you just simplified it to which position would be more important or which, which position could excel this defense more, I would argue it's cornerback. If you were saying I was getting the same type of great player at each position, I would argue cornerback. But I don't have an issue with play. Like I said, it's just simply that Arnold's available. If Arnold wasn't available, I wouldn't have an issue with this pick. But I also probably wouldn't have traded up this far to go get Jared Verse. But that's because I believe in some of the guys that we already have there. So it's just different how we look at the roster. Yeah, for sure. View Davenport differently. I don't have faith in him at all. Like, I when healthy, he is nice. It's just he hasn't been healthy. His entire career has been spotty. And I just can't go into, like, a season where I'm trying to contend for a championship with, like, that. Yeah. Having faith in him. Yeah. I'm a huge verse fan. I just if if he makes it past the Seahawks, and I, I actually don't think the Jaguars really need an edge. Um, he might fall just because there's not necessarily a need in some of these teams. Um, so you just might be able to get him at 18, 19, 20, like a, 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 a lesser trade, having to give up less, um, still moving up to get him. Or maybe someone does snag him and Leitu is available. Um, but I like the player. First dog. Defensive line. Yeah. I'm going well. You, you can't have enough pass, like pass rushers, just as many as you want. Just all right. There we go. Oh, in oh, and out. Your first to pick. Let me put this back on the screen.
Uh, what's what's up, up with our camera? So you're up with the Raiders? The Raiders. Yeah. And actually, man, see this. I thought you were going to take. I thought you were going to take uh, Arnold. So I was like, oh, this is going to be perfect for me. But you didn't. So now I definitely uh, it makes it more interesting because, like I said, I have Arnold as my number one corner. But at the same time, I think a great fit for this defense. Maybe it would be going with the Alabama guy. But I'm going to go and shake it up with Quinion Mitchell here. Um, their cornerback room is a mess. And I thought, I just think after watching what happened last season and the coach that's still there, hold on, hold you on. saw like half of it was like, hey, guys are bought in. Another half is like, I don't know what we're getting over here. Wait, wait. You Quinion Mitchell, Mitchell, you won't have to worry after, about that. After dogging me for not taking Terry and Arnold? Man, hey, look, hey, I, I, this is a mock draft. Terry and Arnold's a better <laughs> corner, straight up. He's a better corner. He's a better corner. He's a better corner. But but if you want, like, Quinny Mitchell is legit a running back playing corner. So for the Raiders side of things, it was a mess last season. They need to do it's going to tackle. You'll get that. You need one of the best athletes out there. You'll get that. All right. And I think they'll be cool where they're in a spot where, you know, it's not all like, hey, we need it right now. I mean, their cornerback is Damari Mathis right now. Opposite is, okay, I'm looking at the wrong team. I'm sorry. It's Denver. I was like, hold up. They got Pat's team. Their, their quarterback room is bad. I just look at it. It's not a good quarterback room. Uh, so my, my point is, like, yo, get a, get a dog in the back end. And also a guy that's just he's just on a process of learning right now. I think they'll be fine with with taking some time with that. So no yeah. way you just grilled me for not taking her all. They just took Quinn Yana Mitchell. The very he, next he's day. a mock draft. You took Jared Verse. You're grounded. Boy, I mean, look, man. Look, man. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. It's di I don't know how to you know, you know what I you know what I mean, easy. You know what I mean? Like the mock draft isn't like where you would have the players ranked. It's like where you think that player would go, what his fit would be. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Chad uh, yeah, You know what I mean? Like, like for example, I would not have taken Newton at nine. But the explanation was like, okay, I do get that. I wouldn't have taken there, but I, I understand the explanation. I don't know. Was there a pick that I made that I uh, – okay, uh, let me see. Yeah, you took Malik Neighbors over Marvin Harrison too. You were using yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, there you go. I could say Marvin Harris is better, but I like to fit with Malik Neighbors in Arizona. I'm just giving you shit though. Honestly, I think uh, I think there's definitely an argument that Quinion Mitchell is a better prospect than Arnold. Arnold yeah, just has I just, like I won't make that argument. Yeah, I think it's more the fit and old, like there's just something about him that screams Raider. That makes sense too. And I can't put a uh, finger on. I don't know how to justify that. It just looks like a Raider. Yeah. I agree. All right, we got the Saints. Fuaga. Oh, I'm not even thinking okay. about this one. Okay. Great pick. They need a they need a tackle and a couple guards. So whatever you need him to play. Put him in there. How about Alvin Kamara, Derek Carr, wh whoever's after him. Um, if not, trade back. But I love Fuaga to them. Wait, did we get um, – so I made – did we skip easy? Or my – I don't know. Maybe the, ro the rotation got the – Did I just – I'm confused. Well, I, no, no, I think – I moved up to 12 and it messed everything up. Okay. Okay. So oh, we're going for there. We'll just go to easy then. Is this 14? 15. Now I'm at 15. Oh, yeah. Let's take that. Terry and Arnold goes here. He feels like a Colt. <laughs> Same way you said Mitchell feels like a Raider. I feel like Terry and Arnold feels like a Colt. Yeah. I, I bro, PFF has mocked him there. They mock him there all the time. So I, I ain't bad at this at all. Um, yeah. They, I mean, they need cornerback help too. They need it. They need, they're just so young over there. I mean, this would just right. add to that, but they need it. So okay. I'll pick at 29. So to, yeah. I'll pick yeah, for yeah. the Broncos at 29. Yeah. We'll just get back. Well, Dion will go next. And then do you want the uh, Jaguars? Do you want to get back in order? Yeah, Jaguars? yeah, yeah. Okay. Back, yeah, back in so order. So Dion, Jaguars to easy, and then I got um, the Bengals. Gotcha. Okay. All right, we'll do that. Um, I see something happening, too. But does Fuaga it's, it's, it's make coming. a pass? Mike McDonald and the Seahawks? Fuaga? He gone. No, no. Uh, Latu. Oh. I might have said Fuaga. Yeah, yeah, Latu's yeah. still there, man. That that's that's the one that's interesting right here. Or Byron Murphy. I'm, I don't, I don't even know their edges on top of my head, um, like that. I know they don't got a lot of big names over there, but Boye Mafe. I think he's, their, he's kind of an outside linebacker, but I think he's their only like true. Yeah, talent. Daryl Taylor. I mean, man, they could use it. I mean, they could use it. I like to me the the fit would make sense to go offensive line here. Defensive coordinator. They need, I mean, Evan Brown was their center last year. So it's like, do I just go with the need or JPJ or like Graham Barton? You, you know what? With the, I guess yeah. Cooper DeGene too. With Mike McDonald. True. That's kind of high though, yeah. actually, with Myron Murphy. Uh, no, I get that. 
But I could see if obviously if, if these if Byron Murphy and Latu were gone, or I could see Cooper DeGene going there. Mike McDowell making the most of them. Cooper and Devon Witherspoon. Oh yeah. Cooper also they, they just got rid of all their safeties. Yeah. So Cooper right. can play a little bit of both. That's yeah, yeah Julian Love yeah. and Rashawn Jenkins is from the Jacksonville Jaguars. Their safeties. Man, I kind of like that. That'll talk me into it a little bit. Um I'm gonna Man, uh, I'm going to uh, – yeah, I don't know. That's a, If you did a Michigan guy, I don't know if he'd do something like that. I don't know if he'd do something like that. I, I'll uh, – I'll, man, I'm going to go law to here. I just struggle a little bit with that. I don't know that the the build fits perfectly, but we'll go we'll go law to. I think they can use it as a rusher. Plus, they got Leonard Williams, so they have one dude. Get someone else in there. It feels like they've been rotating. They'll have, like, certain guys have big games. They need to do so. Like so. Seahawk too. Yeah. There is something about it. Because they got Mafe, who else? That's kind of it as edge rushers. Yeah, I mean, Daryl Taylor's their backup to him. Like they have guys that are like flash randomly, but they don't have, they don't have dudes. I mean, their interior can honestly use work too. Jaron Reed, Draymond Jones, Leonard Williams, they could use work there too. But they, I think they paid Leonard Williams big, big money to get back. So I don't know that they'll address that again. Not with their first pick. No. Okay, we're on to the Jaguars. Easy. Oh yeah. Speak easy, baby. Man. Um, let me pull up the board here. I apologize. You took Latu, so I just want to try to match him. Yeah, man. Uh, oh, I think smart money is offensive lineman here. Although, you guys that kind of confess my love for Byron Murphy multiple times. I just, how do you not protect Trevor Lawrence? Yeah, what Byron Murphy next to. $150 million, Josh yeah. Allen. Yeah. Trayvon Walker. Maybe he turns into something. That's very true, too. Um, you know, because Trevor Lawrence dealt with injuries this past year, and I feel like that's what really kind of held them off from making that playoff spot. Obviously, they had a chance to make it at the very end of it, but I just don't know who. I'd probably take a Fashanu. Just get a, a, a pick. It's just a stud left tackle. Just put him right in there. Yeah. Cam it's Robinson. Like they drafted in 2017. I know you need just about any, any of the offensive line positions. I almost like Cam Robinson can bounce inside, too. I don't know why they paid him as, as much as they did, too. I don't really think he's... Oh, he did actually have a good year last year. Are you going, so you went with Fashanu? Yeah, I'm going to go Fashanu. I'm, I'm going to protect Trevor Lawrence. All right. So this is with... I'm going to make this pick with the assumption that they moved T. Higgins. And then you got Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, and Brian Thomas Jr. at Ooh. pick 18. Man. Wow. I like that. Yeah, that's, it's, yeah the LSU those, those trio. Tickets, yeah. It's either that or you go a massive tackle. Actually, no, they just – they have two tackles. You may go interior offensive lineman, but I'm going Brian Thomas Jr. I, that's interesting. Yeah. I man, I like that. That's a nasty receiver room, bro. They 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 go in with it, they might as well continue to just keep adding to it. And that, that's the offense. Like they'll make that work over there. Yeah, it'll, it'll be effective there. You won't have to worry about that. The Rams are interesting though, because like I'm thinking about like you look at their safety room, it's Russ oh, East and Cameron Curl. Their cornerback so position, easy. I feel like what's up? Fire Murphy. I know, like that that's the one that makes the most sense. That's that's plug in, it fits. Um, but they already have Kobe Turner. I know he could play like he's played some nose tackle, but I don't know that I trust it against the run. He's got the body type that the Rams would buy into. Yeah. That, but I don't think I'm going to do that. He's the other, I, think, I don't think I'm going to do it, man. Weird all night. I think I'm going to change it. I think I'm going to go with. Uh... Ah, see, I don't think I can do that. Part of me wants to, but I don't think I can do it. Yeah, no, I can't do it here. All right. I'm going to go with. Uh, I'm going to go with Cooper DeGene. We'll get the DB off the board. They need DB help. They try to start investing this year. Darius Williams was like their big signing. But if a guy, if this guy could fit at corner for a scheme, he this he could fit there. But yeah, they could use a safety too. So either one. I like it. I like it. I right. like it like that. What are you thinking, Mike? Mike Tomlin. Oh. Oh, mama. So oh, mama. Who'd you take? You took DeGene? Oh, yeah. Seahorn. Um, Mike Tomlin. And you're just going to let Brian Murphy fall to the. Bro. One of the greatest defensive franchises of all time. Oh, and that that front seven is nasty. Boys, wow for that. That's a home run for me. How do I not? I mean, I know they got Keon Benton. Oh my God, that's even nasty. That makes it better. Keon Benton, Highsmith, <laughs> double teams, Highsmith, Watt, 
and Byron Murphy. Patrick Queen. Oh my God. That linebacker. Oh Joey Porter God. Jr. Yeah, Byron Murphy. That's all day. <laughs> that's just BPA. Right? That's, that's yeah. There's just no way you. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's anyway. You so. <laughs> that's crazy. All right. Yo, that makes a lot more sense though. When he said Benton, I was like, dang, that actually makes it stronger, bro. Benton needs a double team. So you just have Byron Murphy with like one of the strongest lower halves in this draft class. That's terrifying, oh, dude. That's the thing disgusting. Of. Yeah. Who you got? You got Baltimore. So you got to get pressure on Burrow, Lamar Jackson, and that running game. What did you pick for? In the Browns. I, I don't think there's four. anything wrong with just solidifying. Yeah, yeah. They might have to change their scheme a little bit, but. Yeah. I mean, you, it's, it'd be hard to pass up on him yeah, as a Steeler. There's no way. It's not like, unless you go offensive line, it's not like there's the sexiest offensive players, either cornerback or Byron Murphy. I say Byron Murphy all day long. Yeah, Byron Murphy all day. Nate Wiggins probably would have been the other guy's probably be sniffed around. Yeah. Um, everyone saying wide receiver for the Steelers. The Steelers have a rule that they do not take wide receiver in the first round. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty I said sure. that earlier, but I, I can't remember. It sounds like Antonio Brown. Fifth round. Making it work late. That's yeah. right. All right, so the Dolphins. Actually, Fotanu falling here. 17 year streak of not drafting wide receiver in the first round. Second longest in the NFL. 17 year? Yep. The Lions took th- a wide receiver three straight years. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm either going Fotanu or Jackson Powers Johnson. Okay. You guys convinced me one, or because I would go with both of them, do I find a trade partner for someone looking for uh, Nate Wiggins, a Kool Aid McKinstry? Oh, shoot. Graham Barton would be perfect here, too. Yeah. Team looking for a lineman, maybe. I'm going to go with one of those three. Who do you guys they, think? They just lost. Um, oh, there's no one worth taking. Uh, Wilkins. If Byron Murphy was there when the Dolphins yeah, were up, that might be sure pick. a pick. We got the Dolphins. I go line. I'm gonna go O line. One of those three. Yeah, the the Dolphins offensive line is they have Armstead at left tackle. They have Win at guard, Brewer at center, Robert Jones at right guard, and Austin Jackson's the right tackle. So probably more so the right tackle. I mean, I'll, look, I'll say that I yeah, I don't think he fits schematically at all. But J.C. Latham, I mean, he's more of a power right tackle, but that's true, right. But he tackle. has a right tackle. He's a right tackle. That's a good point. <laughs> I don't think it fits, but he's a right tackle. That's a good point. And he is a beast. Or maybe you go with, you know, maybe you go like Grant Barnes is interesting because, like what you say, you can put him anywhere. And it feels like the Dolphins have their whole interior offensive line is just, I mean, Isaiah Wynn, is that a starter? I don't, I don't know about all that. So if you went with Barton, you could just put him anywhere because they could probably yeah. use help anywhere. And I do think Barton's climbing up charts. I love Barton yep. a lot. I'm gonna go with Graham Barton here because they they need both interior, both left and right guard, kind of center and right tackle. I think he's played all five positions. Too. He he's the one guy in this draft I think that can play all five. Yeah, I mean I think in college he played center and left tackle, but like if you can do both of those, you probably can play guard too. <laughs> but so but to be strange. honest, even, even or center, exactly. yeah, I mean, bro, like they need all help everywhere. Yeah, this I is, could be this mixed up with somebody else, but he played defensive end too for bowl game. I'm saying Grant Barton did. Pretty sure. Let me look it up. Like everyone, a lot of guys were holding out. I could be wrong. I could be thinking of somebody else. Grant Barton defensive end. Dang, there's some good. Yeah, this is good DBs on the board for the Eagles. There's some good. The one thing that makes me interested is linebacker a little bit here. Like if they were going to go off the wall a little bit, because they're linebacker, they tried to address it last year during the season when they had a Shaq Leonard, but they they knew like, yo, this is a mess. We, we got to get better here. They drafted N'Kobe Dean. Have we seen N'Kobe Dean even play? I don't even know if he's played. He played last year. I don't, he, okay. I don't have any takeaways for, for what it was. That's but. a positive. He's getting, it's, it's good. He's getting snaps. I, yeah, I think it's just what cornerback. That's that's the problem I'm running into here. Because I think with Garrett Bradbury and Slay, you can see the style of cornerback that they like. Guys are going to play a little bit more off coverage. I think Nate Wiggins probably taps into that better than Cool. I don't know though, to be honest with you. I'm gonna take Kool-Aid. We're gonna go Kool-Aid at 22. Um, I like it. I think, yeah, I think football intelligence spot, like he will be ready to play right now. And I think Philadelphia thinks they're right there right now. So they're just gonna go with a really smart cornerback. Just keep it simple. I dig it. Easy's up with the charges. And who who'd you take? So you have Joe Alt at pick eleven. 
Yep. And now the Chargers with their second pick. Who'd you take with the Eagles, Dean? I went uh, Kool-Aid McKinstry. Man said Lions trying to move back into the first round. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, trying to trade back. It would be crazy here. You may have missed it. Easy easy was the Lions. They traded up to, uh, I think it was at 12. They traded up to 12 again. Yep. Jared Verse at 12, if you're just joining. Yes, sir. That same receiver here. Yeah, but. You went offensive line. It feels right? kind of early. Still. Offensive line again? Who we want the two teams it sucks. There's a lot of tackles available. I do feel stupid for taking all and then having all these tackles. But there. now, do you trade back again? Like, I was thinking that, but is that wild? They need these pieces though. Like, he's look at how many people had to cut and reduce their contracts because of like, I mean, look at the needs, bro. If you got yeah. Alt and Fatano in the first round, that seemed like I don't know when the last time there have been two <laughs> tackle, two <laughs> offensive linemen like that taken in the first, but. You got Justin Herbert. Your coach is freaking Jim Harbaugh. But Tyler could play a little bit guard, too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. That's the key to it. Yeah. You got all at right tackle or Slater at right tackle, all at left, but at guard. <laughs> That'd be kind of wild, bro. <laughs> That'd yeah, be kind of wild. wild. But that's Jim Harbaugh recipe to success. Or who's their center? Oh, mm, I think they're set. I think clap. We'll clap. Well, Graham, He's yeah, guard. yeah. You're right. Power Johnson. You got Bozeman. Here. Bradley Bozeman? Bradley Bozeman, yeah. Jackson Powers Johnson. <laughs> I don't think you can take back to back alive, bro, but I'm here for it. So kind of like you said trade back. And I don't I don't think that's like well the Buccaneers. Trade up, trade back three spots to 26. Buccaneers would love off of a lineman or a cornerback. See on the box of that, and I would do it. Or they did just I mean they need cornerback Nate Wiggins there. Well, they need offensive linemen too, Buccaneers. Jackson Powers Johnson, I feel like would help them out a lot too. So who's the first time you went? Oh, Joe Alt. I mean, yeah, you have two guys. You guys with your picks, would, would you any of you guys like to move up to this spot at 23? Who who's next? Is it me or is it so I'm the Cowboys next, okay. but you were the Titans, right? You took Bowers. Yes. They're recommending the Titans as a possible trade partner. They have pick 38 right now. Could they come back in the first round to go get an offensive lineman or you how, how about this? How about how about this, brother? Because this is showing the Bills, right? And Ooh. the Bills need a receiver. Big time. So if one team's not willing to do it, this feels like a team that'd be willing to do it. If, if the Chargers want to chill. So just to to throw it out, because I know this has been a mock. Like AD Mitchell's still sitting there. Do you think? I, I think it'd be interesting. Are you worried? To me, before actually, who the Cardinals take? So you took neighbors. Um, the Cowboys are the only one, I think, in front of the Bills that would take that a would wide take. that need a wide receiver. Like, do the Bills yeah. move up? Um, or are they comfortable getting A. D. Mitchell at, at 28 or McConkey or Roman Wilson? That, that so that yeah, no, you're right. I think then the only fear would really be the Cowboys. So maybe Dallas they do trade up to get it before the Cowboys. I, I like that idea. I like the Bills here. That, I don't know who has the Bills pick though. So you have the Cowboys. I have Packers. Easy has the Bucks. You have Car. Oh, I have the Bills. Okay. Okay. I'm willing hey, to trade up. Go easy. Do it. Yeah. Do <laughs> you know, it. Let's make a trade. Easy. All right. What do you got? Man. So this 128 is looking real, real clean. Actually, nah. Let me give you that 133. Let me split them. I got three picks. I got four picks clumped together. I can move at least one of these. To be honest, yeah. I could move both two of these things. Brad B in the chat makes a good point. Chargers are taking Roman Wilson in the second round. Yep, at 37. I was literally thinking that. Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I guess we're trading back in the first round, but. But. So the thing is, I know you want to move up. Mm -hmm. I just don't know if that's enough for me to make that move because I, I could really. <laughs> Completely. What if I made it 128? Easy. I made it 128. My my highest one outside of 60. What I mean, what are you concerned about, Chargers? Like you're moving I was back. Gonna take, yeah. Because you know, I don't want any other GMs to hear this, but I, I that I actually was thinking about doing the two rookies on this offensive line. And whether that be uh, Fatanu, when I was even thinking about JPJ, a big physical guy in the interior. So the depth is still there. It's so still you know what? 
I'll go ahead and take – who's the Cardinals out of us? Before you make your pick. Um, I think it's you. You're the Cardinals. I'm the Cardinals, like, in order right now, but I think you might have uh, – Dion, you might have uh, started with the – you took neighbors, right? Yeah. Yep. Would the Cardinals try to get in front of Tampa and Green Bay to get one of these offensive linemen? They got a lot of picks coming up. 27, 35, 66, 71, 90, 104. They do have more to do have more to bargain for. They have more, yeah, more for you. That's your pick, though. It's that, that's are we gonna go with it as me? Yeah, I think because we're doing yeah, it right by we can like, use anybody right? on the interior. So yeah, then um you have 37. And last year it was nine. It was rough last year. They had some they had some so backup starting last year. What if I give you 27 Johnson, right? and uh, 27 and 90? 27 and 90? Yeah, that's 23. a better deal. That's, I, I would love, yeah, I would do that. 27 and 90, let's see what, yeah. I almost Make the trade? Is that too much though, you think? You like giving up 90? I mean, even if you give up 104, it's still better than what the Chargers would have, than what I would have offered the yeah. Bills. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you want me to throw a 140 in there? Did that help? Yeah, what the heck? Throw a 225. Just throw in, uh, throw in David Putney. All right. <laughs> do it. Yeah. Okay. Nice doing business nice with doing you. business with you. Sorry, Dion. Fuck you. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. You know, yeah, we're good. We receiver, we're fine. All right, so the Cardinals are on the clock. 2790 for 23 and 225, right? Yeah. I'm going to type it in that thing. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. Basically, I'm just... I mean, this got to be offensive lineman then. Yeah, and then and it's gonna be. Let me just double check their their starting offensive. Line. I would take Paul Johnson. They, they do the center. They do. With James Connor, Free Froholt, yeah, Paris Johnson Jr. at left head. Man, their offensive line blows. Holy, they need yeah, the they need a lot. Um, but I'm gonna go with Jackson Powers Johnson. Yeah, I like that. That's what I'm doing. JPJ. So then easy's the no no, you're the pick now, Broder. Wait. Yeah, Broder's a pick. Right? Okay. Yeah. Wait, yeah, bro. Yeah. Oh. Bro, hey, Broder make it back to back picks. I don't know how it happened, but do your thing, baby. <laughs> Yo. <Come back>. Um <laughs> I think this is this is Fotanu. Oof. Only thing I'm thinking about is Zach Frazier. I've mocked him there. Or Adonai Mitchell. Mm. The smart move to me would be Fatanu. The Jerry mm. Jones move would probably be Mitchell. So I'm going to go Fatanu. I'm going to go smart move. So I mean, maybe it's not smart it, to you guys, but. No, I like it. I'd, I'd, be, I'd be interested in just Latham just for the fact that. So left tackle, they would. They're probably going to kick um, the young dude over there that they drafted a couple years ago that played guard, right? Um, uh, what's his name? I can't. You know who I'm talking about, though. So if they kick him to left tackle, they could go right tackle. And then the flip side, though, if you draft Fatanu, then, yeah, he could play guard or left tackle. So you just wouldn't have to move then one. So I, I think right. you can go with either, actually. Yeah, I think you can go with either here. You're right. So Latham or Fatanu? Yeah. I think I think Fatanu makes sense. There's more there's more flexibility. Yeah, okay. he's a he's a pretty impressive athlete himself. Fatano yeah, that 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 makes sense. I like that. So it's Deion um, Packers. Yeah, what is, oh, line D line safety. Well, the safety room got addressed. I don't think you could take a safety in the first round here. Not from what I've seen. I uh, yeah, I don't think you could take one. Offensive line. I don't think Rashid. They need to replace Rashid Walker. I guess they could replace Zach Tom. They could use interior help too. This would have been a good spot to get Fatanu for them. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Dang. Yeah. And then defensive line. Yeah, they could put someone next to DJ, uh, to Kenny Clark. Probably at some point you need to replace for Kenny Clark. I don't know how old he is, but they love going defensive line. Though I don't think there's a a guy here for that. This this feels like a spot where they could go off. They go off with with the expectation is for need here. So that's uh. I think it's definitely one of these offensive linemen. In real life, you do whatever you want to do. I think they'd probably go up. Yeah. Could this be Latham? Could this be I think it? if they surprise, they'd go linebacker here. Mims feels like a project. Guyton feels like a project. I heard that. Um, their new... 
I don't think lace and mm-hmm. lace makes sense. Oh, what are they? Yeah, so, uh, their new DC played against Peyton Wilson in college. Um, I, I I just read about this today. I forgot what schools. Um, but like he's got a Peyton Wilson had an incredible game against him. Um, North Carolina State. That's you're doing it. That's yeah, yeah. You know, hey, you were well, talking. So it was just easy money. I was like, hey, bat- he's saying the things that I need to hear right now. But yeah, no, I, I, I think this this feels like it could be the. I mean, Green Bay does this; they'll take picks. They're like, "What are we doing?" Yeah, but this does feel like one where that would that would that would make sense because I don't think Latham fits schematically. Nate Wiggins, I think, makes sense, but I like I like who they have at wide corner. I mean, I think you could put Wiggins in the slot if they wanted to. Um, and then you know, defensive line. There's not an interior defensive lineman that's worth the pick here. I don't think edge rusher makes any sense here. They always address well, that. So yeah. We change it up a little bit. I like it. I don't hate it. Packers do do some weird stuff in the draft. And this is a good Tampa. combination with Quay Walker. Like you talk about size wise, I think those two could work pretty well. Man, Tampa could use a bit of everything. Great here. size. I kind of want to grab. It literally, it's like every position except for quarterback. Yeah, seriously. Uh, I just re Baker Mayfield. Let's keep him clean in the pocket. Let's go grab. Yeah. Is Mims young? I kind of want to go Guyton over Mims. Let me see the age. This is why I'm hot. This is why I'm hot. 7 327. Hackers switching from 3 4 to 4 3. Interesting. Hmm. Give me Guyton. They will take Guyton. Guyton. Trying to see. I like Mims, but I just I think it's just too much of a question mark. I could, I could mix those two up, actually. Guy, I'm sure, I do like the idea of Zach Frazier. If Jackson Powers Johnson had fallen, for Tampa to scoop him up. Is Mims the one or Guyton the one who played limited snaps last year? Was it good? That would have been. I think that would have been Mims. Guyton's the one yeah, that's going from yeah, that's defensive end. Saying. Two red jerseys getting them mixed up. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Guyton. Guyton. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I rock with that. They got the receivers I'm back. Charged again. That's right. Damn. Okay. Yeah, Chargers. Yeah. Dang. Man, I didn't want to do this as early because I can get my guy at 37, but bro, you're not gonna like this either. Bro, I like Wiggins here, man. Wait a my second. Easy. No, I, was... I would like to propose a trade deal, easy. Okay. A lot of <laughs> trades for Jim Harbaugh. I as uh um Brent Veach of the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh, you already know. Would like to offer you 32. Okay. And uh um a 2025 third rounder. Let's see. Here to the KC Chiefs. Charge is 27. 32. It might even be too rich, but 32 and, and uh, what was the other third one? Third rounder. Third rounder this year? Next year, right? Next year, 2025. Hmm. Would you be willing to do this year? Nope. Because <laughs> I'm training out for a specific guy, but there is someone else. There are two I, I, other guys at 32 that I would snap So up. the thing is, and I'm be transparent because yeah, I think please. they had these conversations. I was going to go Lad McConkey. Where are you? Was, yeah. Well, now that I know that, I'm taking this trade off the table. Okay. Right, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and I take, like that though. That's a Roman Wilson kind of guy for Jim Harbaugh. Yeah, I think he's got. I think Lad McConkey's gonna be a stud at the next level. Stud. I really kind of hate and hope that he goes to KC just so we can see it come to fruition. I see oh, a lot shoot. Of Sandstrom too. What were you saying? Wait, were you trying to take him with Kansas City? No, I was. I'm taking him with uh, the Chargers. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. I made the pick. All right. I see. All right. See you later, Mike. What? Okay. Mike Killen. So this, see you, dog. Yeah, shout out to Mike in the building. Mike. Um, so this is you, Dion. The Bills. Okay, this is me. Okay. So yeah, I was trying to move up for receivers. This this worked out perfectly. This and is who I, I think what you're doing. Yep. That's, yeah, that's the Chiefs one. trade I was trying to make was to get in front of the Bills to take him. Gotcha. So you use the inside information that you had. <laughs> and you're like, yo, I don't know what you're doing. Although I still probably I mean, if I really wanted Mitchell, um, Actually, now that Lad McConkey's off the board, that's my like safety net for the Chiefs at 32. Um, but I I love AD Mitchell, so uh, Me I'll figure Veach will figure it out. But I like that for the Bills. Bills I think Mitchell? it's a perfect fit. I like that too. I mean, who who's you gonna throw to? You gotta take a wide receiver there. You need 
a couple wide receivers. Damn, yeah, you got froze out. Of what? I think I'm at 29, right? No, this is me, the Broncos. Oh. Because I traded uh, with the... Uh, Are we doing by picks or by teams? Well, I'm I think so it, I kind of went know. off the rip, like, because... Yeah. It was <laughs> I don't 12 know. and Let it be your Lions. pick because you traded, yeah. And I, I'm going Bo Nix at 29. Yeah. Like, that was the plan all along. Yeah, that's what I was doing anyway. AKA, I know some like to rip on it, but I see him as a, a Drew Brees-like quarterback for Sean Payton. Yeah, it makes sense. So you get him at 29, makes a lot more sense than doing it at 11, too. Yeah. And you got like, yourself right? your second rounder, too, because they had zero second rounders, and they need to fill that roster up. So you move back, you get your quarterback of the future on a five-year contract, and you get more picks. Yep. Yeah. So I think now we're back to normal. Uh, Dion at, at uh, 30. Easy at 31. Easy at 32. Yeah. Easy at 31. Is this Pardon? me? I think this is you again, brother. Yeah, this is you, bro. Oh me? Yeah. I you know what, bro? I don't know. I think this is yeah, what we yeah, do. We just let's just bro, reset. Just I got. Oh, I keep do you have a preference? Me. Like, I'll take anyone. I don't. Yeah, okay. I don't. Um, you, you do this one. Okay. It'll go to me. Then we'll go to easy. And we'll just get the rotation going again. Okay. So. So. Lamar Jackson. They need. They need some offensive line. Oh. Yeah, they did some offensive linemen though. JC lay some. Who's there? They just. The right tackle's kind of old and has injury problems. What's his name? Or am I thinking of Ronnie Stanley on the left side? Oh. Yeah, Ronnie Stanley been on the left side. I don't, I don't actually know who's on the right side. And you just got you probably need it if you don't know who it is. You got Steelers. Byron Murphy for the Steelers. Yeah. Good lord, that line. So I'm, I got their go right tackle line. is. Oh yeah, they don't have a right tackle. Um, so <laughs> they don't have one. Patrick. If they don't, then I'm going to go J.C. Latham. Patrick McCarry? You... No, he didn't start for much. In some mocks... Um, yeah, I like that. I like that. I've too. gone... I like Mikey Sanders still to them. I like... A.D. Mitchell or McConkey or even Roman Wilson. I, I think John Harbaugh likes going to go after some Michigan guys in this draft. Um, but the way it fell, J.C. Latham here, you got to take him, right? He's a, Yeah, I think it's, it's a perfect yeah. scheme for two. I, um Latham doesn't fit with everybody, but he fits with them. So yeah. I think that worked out really well. Perfect. And then this is me. I think. Yeah. All right. Well, th look, this worked out well for me here too. Uh, we're gonna we're oh, gonna big got, time corner. You got Williams yeah. on the Niners, bro. That that feels like off awesome value there. I think that is awesome value. But yeah, they need they need corner. I mean, last year when we played him, we knew like, okay, just go at Ambry Thomas. It was like. It, the one side of the field, they just they had real issues in coverage. It was an easy issue for them. And then I, I don't know that the tackle was there for me. They could use the right tackle, though. They really could. But, yeah, Nate Wiggins, too much there. Hypothetically, if Latham fell, if I didn't take him with the Ravens at 30, would you take Latham over Wiggins? No. Not not no. for this team. I can see taking a tackle, but not for this. I, I, when I always think of Sanford, I always think I need guys that can just get out and run in space. You know, everything's so far outside. I wouldn't do that with Latham. But I, I would consider a tackle. All right. We like got uh, Morgan out of Arizona. That's what I was thinking. I like Morgan. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Chiefs. Chiefs. Um, did they sign a tackle this offseason? Am I tripping? There's only Chris Jones. So. And... Yeah. Okay. Also, we can go under the assumption that Rasheed Rice is going to spend eight to nine years in jail. Damn. No, no, that's me, though. That is not. Don't take that as fact, people. Who would you take, Dion? Yeah. Well, I, t I just took uh, Nate Wiggins. Okay. Um. Great combo. Where's Rat? Um, Man, well, hopefully we get Rat back on soon. Hopefully. I've been talking to him. Go ahead, Easy. I feel like Roman Wilson. Wow. Or Pearsall. You're all sneaky. He is sneaky. He's he's slick. I, I guess there too. I don't think he's a route runner as Pearsall and Wilson though. But I'm gonna ask easy. Would you, if you were the Chiefs, if we were the if we were the Chiefs fans, and you're looking at the Chiefs, would you want them to go with a receiver here uh, versus taking a tackle after last season? Were they? Was he pressured a lot at last season? Well, I just, I just. I don't think it was that bad just because they made it work, but I know their tackles were 
bad last season. <laughs> like it was, it wasn't good last season. So I, I, I would just think about it like, I just think about it from like that side. Like they do have sixty four, and you said the receiver position was deep. So that's why I'm asking you. Like if you think receiver position mm-hmm. is deep, would you rather than just wait on that? Because yeah, I don't think you're getting a starter deal. at the end of the second round. They also lost Legereus Steve. Yeah, do your place with the cornerback. There you go. I'm surprised they don't have that as a need on here. Kamari's more of a zone guy, right? Yeah. Out of Georgia. Yeah. This feels like TJ Tampa type of receiver. I'm not saying that's the guy, yeah. but like Mario hit versus though. Lester, but I do love Lester. Maybe even Ennis Rakestraw feels early, but that's my guy. And they're not picking again until 64. The Chiefs are. All yeah. they have in this draft class. Is, this, is that right? <laughs> Is this updated since the, the Jerry C trade? No, no you oh, got that. I only, did, I only did two rounds. That's why it says that. I apologize. Yeah. They actually got a sad amount of picks. Dare you take Darius Robinson playing with Chris Jones and um, the predecessor to Carl Flockus? I'm going to go. Out there. Just out there. No, no, I, no I, don't, I don't hate that at all. I think I'm going to go with. We'll do JT. Jordan Morgan. Uh, Ooh, office tackle right, out of like Georgia. That. I'm sorry, out of Arizona. Yeah. Center, University of Michigan basketball. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a throwback. Yeah, I'm going Jordan Morgan. Cool. Hey, Mr. Morgan. Morgan. I like that pick. Is this, is this rotor? All right, are oh. we going to continue with the second round? I mean, we can go a little bit faster, too. We can get this thing rolling. Did you have a hard out of dying? Yeah, I, I got to go in in eight minutes, but that doesn't mean you guys can keep going. Um, You want to do a couple of just like yeah. quick picks? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's You're do up it. first, right? I'm going to speed run of a sure. idea. Uh, okay. Panthers. I like haven't gone this in depth in the second round yet. I've always like done the first round picks and or the Lions all seven rounds, but they need just about everything. Um, Who they got? Little uh, Bryce Young. A running game. I'm gonna go with Zach Frazier. Center Zach Frazier yeah. out of West Virginia. I like that for a young quarterback. Yeah. Guy caught your blitzes for you. Book it. I don't hate that. He's a wrestler. He's a four time state championship wrestler. Oh, yeah. oh, Troy Franklin is on the board. Who did back up at their take New England? Who's oh we went quarterback. Oh Panthers, yeah. So you put you're Zach Frazier? Yeah. All right, pages in the clock. And so I took Jaden Daniels as a Patriots in the first round. Just take that for what it is at 34. Yep. Yeah. This is the spot to add him, add him a piece, but I don't know who I'd, Mims. Who I'd put with him. Mims? Go offensive lineman. Did he get drafted? Oh, he's still there. Okay. Yeah. I think he got a few years, so he gets his feet under him. I think. Either, it's not like they're competing this year. I, I mean, you got to. I don't know, bro. I think you got to, like, you got to, like, put a weapon with him. I don't know. I, I like doing that with the guy that I just drafted. But if they need a tackle, I don't know what their tackle situation is. Sucks that Brian Thomas is gone. You could have just paired that right back up. Keon Coleman. I think they need a they need a lot in the offense. They need a lot everywhere, but their defense was all right last year. Yeah. Um, yeah. You yeah, you're probably right. The weapon, weapon and or offensive lineman. To, to you go. Rookie. Oh yeah, they don't they don't have a tackle. Yeah, Roman Wilson, Pearsall, Leggett, Xavier Leggett. That's what I was thinking too. I went with Mims there. They don't. They don't have a tackle. Oh, they have it listed with um, Mike on Wienu playing right tackle. I don't know if he did that last year, or if that's just because they don't have anybody there. But they need a tackle then. So hey, if, if you're going to invest in a quarterback at three, there's no harm oh, getting an a, a offensive lineman a tackle at, especially a first round rated tackle. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So easy. You're the Cardinals. You've taken Jackson Powers Johnson and the league neighbor. Nice young- <laughs> <laughs> What a draft. Yeah. And then you traded back. So this is, was this one you acquired? Yeah, Perry Johnson, Johnson last year. Um, before again, I apologize. Oh, you're good. I'm just thinking about what I have up next at Washington. Yeah. They got Sean Murphy bunting. It sounds right. Did um two and tackle Garrett Williams? I don't really have another outside cornerback, but also I kind of like Mikey Sandstro. Mm. And they do have defensive coordinator. I just don't know if they run more zone or man. I feel like it's man. Well, they had. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I mean, a corner last year they didn't have much speed. I don't think. No, not at all. 
I got I got they had our guy over there playing corner. I'm trying to remember. Uh, oh yeah, that they had the vet playing. Yeah, so they brought in Starling and Bunting. I would think that's going to be more zone. Be it was more zone out there. Tampa played a lot of zone too, didn't he? Who did Tampa? Yeah. Ben Foster says press man. I feel like you could probably try to mold Tampa into a CB1. Am I tripping there? Yeah, no. go give me give me Tampa. My defense coordinator, head coach. Or Sandstrill too, though. God damn. Give me an outside guy, though. Because they're like one injury away from Starling being your starting outside corner. No disrespect. I just don't know if that's a situation you want. Yeah, I mean it was it was bad last year. So yeah. they they yeah, they need it. I guess their best cornerback was like 33 years old. So and he was he I don't even know if he signed to a team. I think he's just a free agent right now. Uh okay, Broder. Pick 36. We got Washington. I'm gonna go uh because the Giants got Marvin Harrison Jr. and um Cowboys, CeeDee Lamb, and who they get Brian Thomas? No, I forget who I got to them. The Eagles have a – I'm going cornerback, and I'm going Ennis. That guy up north is in the chat. Now the pressure's on. Ennis, yeah. uh, Rakus, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with Ennis. Curtis Enos. Like that. Bro, that's a real interesting combination with uh, – I can't yeah, think of dude's name they drafted last season, but who didn't really play this last season. I like that because there's flexibility there. I'm a big fan, man, so I like to pick. They need cornerback help, though, big time, because <laughs> it wasn't there last year. Oh, you got to do it, Dion. Lad yeah. McConkie oh. drafted already. Lad Don't. McConkie and Joe Alt. Don't disappoint, Lad Dion. Lad McConkie and Joe Alt. Okay. You already so know I what can't... to make. I, I think I know what you're talking about, because he's, <laughs> he's sitting there Thank on the screen. Um, oh. You got it, dude. <laughs> <Brian> Good. <laughs> let me just, let me just uh, make, check and make sure. And because you took Lad already, you're not going Roman Wilson. All right. Correct. Right. That was the All plan. right. So we're on to easy. Took him? Sandstro? Yep. Yep. See, Plugins. that's why Probably he back. might end up a first rounder, because if someone wants him, he's not going to pass Harbaugh 37. Not. Yeah, Kamari last I don't think he's getting past 37 either. So you grab Bowers for... These guys, which honestly I think works. I, I think he'll be moved around like because uh, he I you were gonna plays sometimes like in the Y. You know, say not like even like a true tight end, so you could play both those yeah. tight ends. Um, Burrow. Easy, I took Lassiter, bro. I took Lassiter. You took Lassiter at thirty-seven. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't sure if you realized it. I don't think you did. Oh, oh wow, you, you <laughs> made both of us take Mikey Sanstra. Well, I did. I, I oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I, I didn't on. realize you were doing that. I'm sorry. Mm. Yeah. I'm, sorry. I'm going to quick for this one. Sanders still on the board. Sanders still. Yeah, he is. Well, technically. But that's an interior guy. I don't wanna, I, 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 he's a dog, though. How do you not take him? He is a dog. They got DeAndre Hopkins. What are the receivers they got? Uh, the receivers. So they added Calvin Ridley. And then they got a oh, right. Westbrook in there, Traylon Burks. It's actually cool. not too bad if it hits. Pretty nice little wide receiver core. It is. Yeah, and it's they not got... bad. They, they could use edge rush. I mean, if you if you like an edge rusher here, they could use that big time. Their edge rushers are Harold Landry. Not bad. You know, former earlier on pick. Then Arden Key. They don't really have anything on the interior outside of Simmons. Give them Chop Robinson. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Ooh. Lock it in. Which Robinson do you guys like better, real quick? Chop Robinson or Darius? Just... Darius. Darius. Yeah. I mean, Chop has a ceiling, but like, I, I like Darius Robinson. You, you want Chop Robinson? Yeah, I went Chop. Chop, 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 Chop. On heavens, no. <laughs> that guy up north, spell it phonetically for me in the chat again. Um, <laughs> the Panthers. Yeah, for real. For real. receiver. I know. I'm thinking Troy Troy Franklin, but I like it. Um, do you put? Um, hey, it's looking at, at edge. That's what I'm gonna do. Troy Franklin. So yeah, Troy Franklin. Makes sense. Uh, uh, Deontay Johnson and uh, Mingo plus Thielen. Hey, Bryce Young, bro. Yeah, I mean, you don't really have a burner there, but 
Troy Franklin, will, he'll get open. He'll get off the line. You won't have to worry about it. Like, so I feel like he's like a reliable piece. Yeah. They could use reliability at receiver. Yeah. And he's already been a, a second or third option on a team. Like, there's something about, like, someone willing to be that number two or three. It's a guy like, it's a guy like uh, Bryce Young has tossed it up to, too. Big body guy. Maybe they bring back uh, DJ Chark. He could be the speed, speedster guy for him. Ray Key A. Stray Woo. Ray Key A. Stru, Stray Woo. It's Ray Kistraw. What are we Ray doing? Stray Woo. Um, who's this? Commanders? Is that you? Yeah, I think it's me. I'm trying to. I don't. I don't really know where I want to go with this one. Uh, they say offensive line. I don't know what that offensive line is looking like. So it's probably not great. I just don't know who I'd plug in here for offensive line. Kingsley. I don't even think quarterback. Yeah, Kingsley. It'll take a minute, but I think I don't. I don't yeah, I don't know who's on their offensive line. Um, they they could use some help if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And they, yeah, I think, I, I think oh, I they for sure could use some offensive line help. You're talking about the commanders? Yeah. Oh my God. Ray Sam Star. Howell was on, like, yeah. on track me every time he snapped the ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> actually, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> actually, you're right. Um, all right. We'll go offensive tackle. I'm going to go with my man, Kyron, right here. Out of Kyron. You say that last name. Give me Kingsley. Benet Sewell's cousin. Ooh. For the Packers. They need offensive linemen, too. And they just paid all that money for Josh Jacobs. I feel like he's better in the run game than the pass game. I really don't like him that much, to be honest with you. I only watched one game, though. Who? Kingsley. Kingsley, Samatu, Samatataya. Kingsley. Okay, so we'll Kingsley's, he's, and now we have three division teams good. with three blood, blood line. So you took uh, um, Lassiter at 37? Lassiter. Yep. Gosh, this isn't fair. I'm taking Mikey Sanders still at the Texans, 42. Yeah, honestly, I don't think he falls as far either. But like, make that deep. The, the Houston Texans are doing something for real. Yeah, they are. Oh my goodness, with what's his name to a DC or a head coach, bro? Falcons, who you got? So you went, you went with, you went with the edge rusher, right? With the first round. Yes, um, Dallas Turner. Dallas Turner. Okay, so I won't, I won't go back. How they only got two needs listed? Is that, is that accurate? Yeah. <laughs> They they yeah. really they attacked the offseason pretty strong. I'm not gonna lie. They, okay, all right. They have signed yeah, a lot of receivers, but I'm not like sold on Darnell Mooney. Darnell I actually like Rondale Moore a little bit, but like Drake London, we don't know what he's gonna be like. Kyle Pitts, we don't really know. Yeah, like, they they can't they couldn't get to the quarterback at all last year. Now they got some dudes on the inside. It looks like they got some dudes in there. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish it off though because there's a guy there that's not there anymore, and this guy would I think help out a lot. Darius Robinson, not having I like uh, that the like Calais Campbell, that. yeah, that helps. Um, on the Raiders, oh yep. yeah, is it super disrespectful to uh, yes. O'Connell to no grab Michael Penix here? No, not at all. <laughs> I, mean, I think they really like him actually, like to the point of maybe trading into the first round. Okay, Ooh, to get him on a five-year contract, yeah, I'm Greg Penix here. Um, okay. I think honestly, I think he's like might be QE three or four for me in this draft class. He's as good as a lot of the, as some of the guys up top. He's just understand. old and he's had sixteen knee surgeries. Yeah, sixteen? No, like oh, five, that's so which is the equivalent of, in <laughs> dog years. Yeah. Sixteen. Yeah, that's crazy <laughs> actually. You know, if Saints, I took Fuaga, Lave Shahid, and Roman Wilson is looking right at me. Um, your tackle defensive line, also Braswell. I see Braswell. I mean, they, or Pearsall. They don't grab anything. Here. Adisa Isaac, Ruke, Jonah. Man, see, this is a good little cluster. Eight. The truth is right. They don't have any interior defensive line. Just don't. I mean, well, actually, I'll take that back. They have the guys they drafted last year. They have Brzee. Outside of that, they're pretty light, though. I mean, they're young. They have Isaiah Fox. Pair they him have... and Fisk. That might be a nice little pairing. Do you guys like they, Fisk they over Ruke? Ruke or no. no, I like Ruke. I like Ruke, too. Like, I would rather... I'll go Ruke. We don't have to mess around with the trade back, but I'll go Ruke. All right. 
Yeah, defense line is going to be interesting. I've heard a lot of different ideas where that could go. And you know what would be interesting here? Maybe Jason Smith would be interesting. If someone like wanted just to trades, the Saints could do it. Saints, Saints, Saints would. He's underrated because he's they so did low on easy. BFF. He's like in the one he is. 30 somethings. Yeah. He's probably I, a I, I re- third rounder. I really think this whole thing, I, I agree. I, I think this whole thing is just like the whole defensive tackle room is just like, it, I don't think it's going to go any bit near where this is kind of lined up just because I I don't think there's consensus on any of it. I love Chris like, Jenkins, by the way. I try to avoid I'm saying it because people will label me a Michigan slappy. Bro, I like him too. Hey, you ain't, hey, look, Easy's the only guy that don't like him. Look I, at that. <laughs> yeah, the measurements weren't what I would want of an undersized guy. He's already like less than 300 pounds. And it wasn't like he was a pass rusher. At that size in the NFL, I feel like those type of dudes are rushing the interior. Or he's just more of like an anchor. I just don't know if he could be at the, the pro level. Yep. Not as big as his paw paw. Yeah, it's funny. Neither was Brian Branch. Yeah, he's not playing defensive line. I know, I know. It is different. <laughs> but he's got like the intangibles. He when he was on the field, the Michigan defense was kind of unique. It was NFL like, but they just yes. rotated in their their defensive line. Um, I think that's what he is at this level too. He's gonna be productive. Like he would be great next to somebody. Yeah. Watch like honestly, game. before we got DJ Reader, although he's kind of a lot like Lee McNeil, like pairing him there. Um, easy. You went with uh. This was uh I bet. grabbed our Terry and Arnold. Terry, yeah, okay, yeah, so this was yeah. Okay. I'm uh I'm 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 thinking about going safety here. I was saying the same thing. Yeah. I mean, I don't I'd have to go with a specific type because I don't like Bullard I don't think it would make sense because they have a they have a slot. But part of me kind of likes that idea too. I hate the Jaguars did this off season. Uh, me too. Literally hate it. Outside of Josh Allen, I kind of know like him, but yeah, even mean, I need mean, guaranteed. Yeah, dude. And then they grabbed freaking Gabe Davis. Yeah, Gabe yeah, Davis is not good. Have I started looking at the Beast yet? Who's the Beast? The Beast. Is there a guy named the Beast? Oh, did you take Newbin? Who's yeah, that? I think. I yeah, I took Tyler Newbin, safety out of Minnesota. I because I'm looking at safety. I think he's probably the top guy that could actually have the range to fit in that defense. I don't think Bullard does. So, and he takes the ball away. Like, they, I mean, it's weird to go corner and safety, but it helps you. I like the linebacker idea too. The truth, Edron Cooper, I think would be cool here. So these guys have Brian Burns, the Giants. I'm talking about have Brian Burns, Thibodeau. Who's in the interior for him? Oh, yeah. Dexter Lawrence. Oh, oh. who else do they? And they sign a. a they re-sign Isaiah Simmons, but who else do they have at Perhaps. linebacker? Deontay Banks, I really like. I love Deontay Banks. I'm a big Deontay Banks fan. Maybe we should have drafted him at 18 last year. I agree. I was hoping for it. Um, we grabbed the receiver. They got the oh, best receiver. Mark Harrison Jones. I got you. Wait, that's the freaks list. Okay, I'm confused. Sorry. Are they still need offensive linemen? Are they seriously still struggling in offensive linemen? Yeah. Oh, the Giants? Yeah. Did you draft one? one every single year? That's crazy. They, that's still a case. Evan Neal. They've yeah. taken some that haven't panned out. Andrew Thomas, Aaron Stinney, Michael Schmitz at center. They have John Runyon. That would have been their free agent addition. And yeah, I mean. Who's their linebacker you said they have, brother? Um, oh, no. Where is sorry. Oh, is that Bobby something? McFadden, or McFadden, then Bobby. Um, I feel like yeah. with that. With that defensive line, get an athlete like Edron Cooper back there, and mm-hmm. you could really make some magic happen. So I think can I? Uh, I'm a, you taking Edron Cooper? Yeah, what were you about to say? I was gonna say I I, I kind of like the because I just took a safety. Like maybe if there's like a slight run, I think Javon Bullard. This could be a place that he fits. Just looking at their team, mm-hmm. maybe. But no, I, I like Edron Cooper. Yeah, I like him. More I just so. like I have an athlete like that behind that defensive line. It could do fucking damage. Yeah, this is true. Hey, bro, if you have to, if you have to, to dig, yeah, this could be my last pick. Okay, <laughs> no, no, you're good. Like, I'm, I'm here because I want to be. Like, I, 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 I want to keep. I want to do all seven rounds with you guys. Like, this is where I'm trying to put all the pieces together now. Yeah, um, would you just take? I took Edgar Cooper. Edgar Cooper. Okay, I like that for them. Yeah, I like that for them too. I, man, love that for them honestly. 
curve. I'm deciding between Xavier Leggett. I know they, they just signed Gabe. This, this is why I don't like their. Yeah. They signed Gabe Davis, but there's all these amazing receivers in the first couple of rounds. I'm with you. Um, do you go Leggett or Keon Coleman? Or do you go uh, Braden Fisk or Braswell? Like you go. They signed Armstead. They got Trayvon Walker. Maybe he's going to do something. Josh Allen. Mm-hmm. Uh, I probably I probably go get. I'm gonna go Xavier like Xavier Leggett because he is different than the wide receivers they have. Zay Jones is a little guy. Um, Christian Kirk, he's a little guy. That's the only reason I'm not taking Roman Wilson. Yeah, but that'll do it for me, fellas. All right, Leon, thanks for having me on, man. I appreciate it as always, and your chat is always awesome. Um, shout out to you guys. Hey, man. Hey, thank you for joining, man. I mean, hopefully we'll be doing this again next week. So you know, you're always invited, man. I'll awesome. Send the link. Awesome. It's, it's <laughs> 14 right. days tomorrow, 14 days till the draft. Let's do this. That's crazy. <laughs> That's actually crazy. <laughs> See you, Ben Foster. See you, Juma forever. See you, Michael. You got the best. I told you last week, you got the best chat. The man. People. Shout out to the chat, man. Hey, brother, have a good one, man. That's a reflection. See you again you. next week, hopefully. You bet. Have a great night. All right. You too. See, hopefully, this stays straight for you. Love you, dog. Oh, yeah. You know what? Did you just hand that to me. I'm just. Yeah. I'm just Bring it a little closer. Oh wow, it's followed you. Whoa. Easy, you wanna you wanna get you wanna finish up the second round? Yeah, I'm down. We might as well. Right. We're kind of happy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Boom. Thanks, man. Right. Peace. Peace out. Yes, sir. See, so it's kinda heavy. we got the we got the bangles now. Um, than I thought. <laughs> what are you holding the laptop? Oh no, that's a camera. You got the camera. <laughs> What'd you say, Dion? <laughs> Not nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, you, 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 your pick. Yeah, See this you. is a weird spot, dude. This is a this is a weird spot for Cincinnati here. Um, they could use a nose tackle. I just don't know who. I I don't think that's there. Brian Fisk. They signed Sheldon Rankins. I ain't a nose tackle, man. All right, yeah, they signed Sheldon Rankins. I Hold up, give me one second. Let me look at this defensive line. So I got Sam Hunter, BJ Hill, Rankins. Dang. You like Chris Jenkins so much, be about it. I know. That's I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go Chris Jenkins here. <laughs> hey, yo. I, I was I was already thinking that way. Easy. Yeah, Chris Jenkins. I just, I'm not seeing it, boys. Um, all right, so I got the Eagles in. It's all right, it's not our pick. We 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 we're the Bengals here, so we don't, I don't we know don't why have they have receiver here as neat. Is AJ Brown dead? Did he they like why is he need to have be a slot right who's their slot they have aj and Devonte, but i don't know who their three is but i mean Devonte could easily play the slot for him too if he wanted he's you know how it is yeah you gotta, you gotta have three receivers how i don't i just don't understand why a receiver would be a need for this team right now who's who the hell they got they, aj oh i mean they added Devonte parker too yeah so i'm i'm kind of with you there that's listed as their top need yeah, we just went yeah, yeah. linebacker no we went corner I'm sorry, my bad. I'm right, talking to right, Trevor. I'm asking what the f- going on with that. That's kind of wild to me. Um, <laughs> Edgen Cooper's gone. That would have been beautiful for them in that defensive line. That's half yes, the reason that the they have a Giants took them. Took him. Eagles need willing tacklers. Yeah, linebacker would be a good spot here. Maybe Junior Colson. I was doing the same thing. I was okay. I was going to ask Junior Colson. I do like Harrell too. I know that's super super early, but I'm saying like later on. Um, they got DB too. But didn't you take? I, I we took Kool Aid first pick. Okay, yes, they got DB. Yeah, give me Junior Colson, I guess. Although they could prepare for life without. Uh, no, give me Colson. Just get it over with. <laughs> what were you gonna say? Life without Jalen Hurd? <laughs> no, life without um grabbing off as lineman for um the departure of uh Kelsey. True. Yeah. No, that would actually make sense. I don't know who they would have went with offensive. There wasn't really anyone there. Oh, I guess it could have gone McCormick or. It could have went Haynes. Hayes. Yeah, things would have made sense, I think. Um, so Steelers, who do we take for the series? We had a uh, Byron Murphy. So let's take Fisk. Um, Fisk, whoa, 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 don't do it. Do it. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. So we took Byron Murphy, the receiver. They have they have Pickens, and I think they still have Deontay Johnson. Roman Wilson still on the board, and they need a receiver. Wilson is still out there, and then he would plug right in the slot. They need offensive line though too. Keon Coleman feels like a Pittsburgh Steeler too. Not gonna lie. Opposite of Pickens, it'd be interesting. Yeah. They uh, they're not the same player, though. No, don't do that. 
Oh, okay. wait, so they don't have Johnson. They have Quez Watkins. Oh, no, they need a receiver. They trade Johnson, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. They need a receiver. I would... Or maybe a speedster guy, because I feel like Pickens and, and Coleman are like the same dude. Yeah, I'd take Jermaine Burton here. I, I think offensive line makes sense. So if you're like going for need for sure, but yeah, I'm going to go too. Burton. So who'd you take? Burton? Jermaine Burton, receiver, uh, Alabama. All right. Okay. Rams. Says he need a quarterback. So I guess that's their Spencer Rattler. Let's do Kyrie Jackson. Your guy. I had to rewatch Kyrie Jackson a couple of days ago. Because like we had been talking to about him. Like I, I only watch highlights, I'll be honest with you. Oh, <laughs> hey, they need to throw with that. The throw with that. Kyrie Jackson is legit, bro. He's legit. He's got so much upside. Um, Did the Eagles yeah. lose a safety this offseason? Uh, what, what's up? Did the Eagles lose a safety this offseason? They brought CD Deuce back, so I don't... That's right, yeah. You're right. Only thing I... Oh, wait, you... you that was the Rob race. Bird brought back Deuce. They brought back Reed Blankenship, so never mind. They don't really need to save. Not the Blankenship, man. Maybe it's probably restart looking offensive lineman. Maybe Haynes right here. Yeah. Yeah, they need a... Wait, who? Eagles. Okay, wait, but so we just took Junior Colson. Was that the first pick with the Eagles? The second. Oh, okay, Kool Aid. See, I'm I'm forgetting who we took for these teams. So they have Kool Aid, and we took the Colson. linebacker. Is there a cornerback? You just took Kyrie Jackson. Yep. For that defense, no, we have Kool Aid. Why am I looking at corner? Uh, you said offensive line. Christian Haynes. It's got to be. Just trying to make sure there's no one else speaking to me here. Because, like, bro, Bullard would be interesting in this defense, man. You just want Bullard off the board. I, I like the fit. I I don't know. He's interesting. Someone's going to fall in love with that dude. I'm just not a big Christian Haynes guy either, so I'm struggling to pick him. But it's a mock, so we'll take him. Grab Haynes? Um, ah. Yeah, I took Haynes. Oh, man. The Browns have, like, everything already. They already have, like, everything. Literally. Linebacker, they got JOK. Could they use yeah, receiver? Too. Maybe not. Receivers, Elijah Moore, Amari Cooper. They brought in Jerry Judy. Yeah, they made that trade. They got Tillman. They got depth there. Their offensive line's pretty freaking good. Actually, really good. Maybe another edge rusher? They got Dalvin Thomason and Shelby Harris. And Maurice Hurst, but he's always hurt. That's the guy edge. they grabbed last year. I don't know. I don't know what he ended up looking like. Zaria Smith on the edge. Fisk could Fisk could play though really well yeah. with uh, Delvin Tomlinson, and you you don't have to view Shelby Harris as a starter. You know what I mean? Yeah, BPA actually that would actually I do kind of like that. I like that too. And the Browns are one of those teams that will just take like who's like the standout when he's just sitting there. Fisk would be at this spot. This feels like yeah. a Brown to me. Grab, grab Fisk. Oh my goodness. I That's a crazy D line. <laughs> yeah, they just, they go crazy on that D line. Insane. Holy, we got Dolphins. Dolphins, yeah. And we took a, uh, we took uh, Grant Barton, so we went O line. They just lost uh, Van Ginkle. True. What's his name? Has that Achilles injury? The edge I really like. They got or slash Sam. What are we gonna look at him as? The Dolphins. Phillips. Yeah, Phillips. I think it is. Something Phillips. Oh, Jalen Phillips, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they had, you're right. Yeah, they had some dudes last year. They just got hurt. They really got the injury bug got them. I feel bad. I feel like they could have made a little bit of more of a run had they stayed healthy. Yo, their That's interior everybody. defensive so, line is disgusting. Name of the game. Their interior defensive line is, looks terrible. I'm looking at this. They have Benito Jones in there, but Deshaun Hans is starter. That's not going to oh, work. That is gross. Uh, let's address that. Oh, man. It, and Dorless is just sitting there. He could fit because he's got that flexibility. He can plop right into the to that role. So yeah, they need something in there. Let's go for it. Uh, is Dorless listed as a um, defensive end or? He he's listed on here as an interior defensive lineman. Um, what do you see him as at the next level? I I would. I think he's got to play more towards the outside. I mean, at this side, at this side, he absolutely has. Because I thought, I thought even forget the testing numbers, even the way that he played at Oregon, I thought he had problems against the run. So it wasn't like it was just like he dropped size. I mean, he, I think yeah. he's 
should probably play a little bit wider. And you, anything you can with the Dolphins. All right, Cowboys he, here. It's tough. I feel like they could stick Wilson and running the wide. Running back, right? The slot, huh? First running back? No running backs yet, no. No, okay. Yeah, because, yeah, they'd have their choice. I mean, I don't know if you have any takes on any running backs here, but. Nah, I think I'm going to go wide receiver here. Okay. I just don't know if I want to go outside with Keon Coleman. Or if I want a guy who can do everything with. uh, Xavier Worthy. (laughs) Who's the new offensive coordinator? Uh, They have one. Yeah, they got to have. I don't know. Actually, that's a good question. I don't know. I think what Mike McCarthy was calling the plays from last year. Jalen Tolbert, Brandon Cook, C.D. Lamb. Uh, maybe they wouldn't go with Xavier Worthy. Not with Brandon Cooks. Maybe a little more size. A little more size, probably. Tolbert brings size, but. Uh, Schottenheimer. Okay. Give me Wilson. Roman Wilson. All right. Right. All right, to the Bucks. You can explain that pick. I think you've wanted to talk about Wilson. So. Oh, it's Wilson. I mean, you could bounce around everywhere. Where I, I, I do like Coleman there, just because you have CD who could do everything, but then you have Coleman who could just jump up and get there. But I think Wilson offers almost everything, and I don't know if he drops this far down the board in real life. And they yeah. need a receiver, so I would like to. I'd like to put an edge here. I don't know who I'd put. Um. Robinson I falls. I mean, I don't know if he falls this far. Actually, they they're kind of they got they're kind of solid at edge. Let's see, they could be tripping. Are they? I know they lost Shaq Barrett, so that's why I was thinking that. Oh yeah, you're right. Mm. Well, I can't think of this team because what's the name actually ended up like showing out towards the end of the back half of the season. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, Logan Hall, Vey, and can't see then. Yeah, pro- yeah. yeah, you know, if you went Braswell or whoever, I, really. I think no, I think you made a good point there. Um, cornerback, maybe, maybe corner. I mean, they just traded one away. They could just straight try to replace it. Is this too early for Jonah Ellis? Um, I like that's that's not a bad. I, I don't dislike that. I don't dislike that name. I'm just trying to think for that role. I don't dislike that. No. Who we for them earlier? We we uh Tyler Guyton. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go Austin Booker. Please I was me. just I was literally. <laughs> looking at that. There you go. Are you going Austin Booker for real? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I was Austin literally just thinking that. With that, there's similar situation. I love Austin Booker for us in our D line. They got like the same kind of thing going on where they got like a piece of everything you want. Just get another guy like yeah. that. Yeah. All right, we got. Green Bay, we got we took, they took a linebacker and we took a tackle. Okay, yep, we got mm-hmm. Kingsley in there. Who they got? So someone just said they traded to a, a four three. That was someone said earlier. Yeah, four three. So got we got Dante Wyatt, they Quay got... Walker next to Peyton Wilson, so they're probably good there. Yeah. Safety. Now they want safety. I was they their fans want safety, and I know they, they like Jaden. What? What's Did that? They sign- uh, Xavier McKinney? Yeah, but fans want one next to Xavier McKinney. I think that's they wild. need one next to him. Well, then let's, if that's the case, because you do the NFC North round table, let's grab Bullard right here. Okay. All right. McKinney can be the coverage guy. Bullard can be the cow. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he'll be that. Yeah, yeah. I hear you there. He'll be that. <laughs> uh, okay. So we're on to the Texans. Uh, we made a pick for the Texans. We had to. Um. We did not. Yeah, we did. Second round, they grabbed uh, the best nickel back, nickel cornerback. True. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't know why receivers are needed for them either. They're stacked at wide receiver. This is not candy. Nah. There's no way. They're stacked at receiver. Tank Dell, Nico Collins, Stefan Diggs. Oh, I forgot about the trade. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, you're right. I forgot about the trade. They lost Rankins. Did they grab any? Oh, I got Archie who could play inside, but he's he kind of bounces around. But there's not really any DTs worth taking right here either. If they want to, I'm gonna do it. We're gonna go Mason Smith then. You know, we're gonna we're gonna shake it up a little bit. Who is that the guy? Surprises and gets in there. I could see Mason Smith being that guy. So we'll put him in there. What is Mason Smith? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know Mason. 
Yo, he's got like 35 inch arms for an interior defensive lineman. He's built like a Lions defensive tackle. He just doesn't produce necessarily. Uh, but he's are you, are you incredibly taking powerful. Here? Yeah, I just, yep, Mason Smith at 59. All right. Did they get their yeah, the guy Donnie Mitchell? Yeah. To be honest though, bro. You gonna take two? <laughs> hey, I'm not even mad at it. <laughs> Did you improve the run game? No, that's facts. That was is there, is there tackle? How's their offensive line? The Bills offensive line? Yeah. Uh, I'll read it to you. Uh Bills offensive line is left tackle, Deion Dawkins, David Edwards from the Rams. Um, that's a, okay, Gary. It's Connor McGovern at uh, center, Osiris Torrance, and then Spencer Brown. I mean, it's like a they're they're they they are gonna they're gonna play more of a, a gap scheme, I guess, like that. So I don't know if there's a yeah, that's how they run the ball. I yeah, I don't the offensive lineman right here though either. Maybe Patrick Paul. I'm not familiar with this game, sir. Okay, so maybe not Patrick Paul. Give me, give me the white boy, Ricky Pearsall. Man, back to back receivers, wild, bro. I love that though. Ricky Pearsall's a dog, but back to back receivers, wild. Denver Broncos on the clock with the Detroit Lions pick. They need absolutely everything under the sun. You know who we took last time with Denver? Yeah, we took. uh, Just blanked out with no clue. Oh, mix. Nix, Bonix. Yeah, okay. And they brought Josh Reynolds in. The receivers aren't bad. They just they got to get some out of Sutton. So, uh, offensive line, not great. They brought McGlinchey and they probably won't replace that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't assume they'd replace that immediately. And then defensively, they could use interior defensive line. Honestly, anybody on the interior. Could they use an edge? Uh, who? Yeah, Denver. Yeah, and then really we didn't go anything. corner. They use everything, to be honest with you. I think a decent oh, Isaac fits uh, Sean Payton. He's, he seems like a Campbell, Sean Payton guy. Hard worker. Jonah Ellis. Drew, just, Drew Sanders. Yeah, they added. They have Drew Sanders over there. Mm-hmm. Man, I don't know what this one. <sighs> Who is their tight end? That's a good question. Their tight end is uh, Adam Troutman. Greg Dulcich is over there, though, too. So I don't. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. But you know, you know, Peyton likes to get freaky with his tight ends. So I feel like Sanders would be good too. I mean, you could literally go anything with these guys. Marshawn Neal, yeah. it feels like well, a this, fit. So this is more of a three-four, I think, right? So this, so do we want like a, a pure stand-up? Adisa Isaac could 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 play that. I'm not that high on Braswell. I kind of like that, and I don't know that there's a defensive line here with size, so I don't want to force this pick. But I'm gonna go with Adisa Isaac. I like that. A grinder for him. All right, Baltimore Ravens. I got a speedster. Zay Flowers. Rashad Bateman sucks. Let's get a guy who climb up top. Get you some red zone. Mm. Young Coleman. What did we grab from earlier? We grabbed Latham. JC Latham. Yeah. Makes sense. Wait, so two Florida State receivers. Yeah. Okay. Or, and now uh Niners. Now this would have been the spot to go offensive line, but we didn't. We went Wiggins because he was there. I'm I, and I like that. Yes, yeah, Coleman. For the I, I'm gonna go Blake Fisher. Uh right tackle. We'll just leave him in his spot. We need a replacement at right tackle. I mean, honestly, with needs put in mind, I, I like that. Man, we I left see. off some good players, bro. I'm looking at this mock. Like the fact that Xavier really didn't go is kind of nuts. The other ones I'm okay with, but Xavier Worthy does feel kind of wild that he's that's where he goes. Awesome. Right here, <laughs> to the Kansas City Chiefs, we got them attack on the first round. Wow, get, uh, Tyreek Hill 2.0. Oh, oh I kind of ride with that. Worked out perfectly, bro. <laughs> that worked out perfectly. Okay, Braswell. So we left Braswell in there. We did. Oh, I just messed up. Oh well, our drafts won't read the same, but. That anyway. Well, yeah, I'm gonna show it on the screen. Um, you can kind of scroll through real quick. Caleb one, Drake two. We got the run of quarterbacks, bleak neighbors, sh- shook it up. If- oh, you muted yourself. 
You did you did good all stream. There you go. Easy. I was breaking it down too. Man, I was breaking it down. Hold up. I don't I don't hate this such so for yeah, I mean, look, man, we had the quarterbacks. We had the, the, the receiver shook it up a little bit. Dallas Turner, he's been just kind of plug in. They maybe shocks a little bit. They go new in defensive tackle. I think the, the beginning was made sense. Um, you had the Jairus verse one, Quinion Mitchell. I mean, this this does seem to make sense. The first 16 make a lot of sense, I think. Yeah, the only oddball ones, I'm not even picking on you. But neighbors over Harrison Jr. But Harrison Jr. didn't test at all. So, I mean, there's that. It is an oddball. Then, I really feel like Tennessee's got to get a, a, a tackle for uh Hello. They got to get a tackle for um what's his name? For Will Levis. Thank you. I'm so bad yeah. with names. It's not even funny. No, I am with I had to keep scrolling back. I, I that does make sense. No, that does make sense. Uh that was that was definitely just shaking it up with a with a straight pick. I mean, honestly though, I feel like we've had those every few bait new and I think it shakes it up. I think Jared Verse you going up against him just because you traded alone. That changes things completely. Yeah. Um, Terry on Arnold makes probably sense. a little wild too, maybe. Which one? Five. JJ at five, probably a little wild too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of mocks have had that, but yeah, at five specifically, Latu in the top sixteen. I would say Cooper DeJean took it up a little bit. Brian Tom. I mean, this is an interesting mock, but they make sense. The first round makes sense. Byron Murphy falling twenty. That that'd be crazy if Brad didn't trade up and that happened. I don't know. Maybe I'm just. You don't care though that we already have DJ Reader. Like he would do that. So if you're looking at this, um, you're looking at these 32. Do you feel like there's a specific guy that's like, yo, this guy had to be in the first round? It's the first round kind of guy to you, or is there one that stands out? It's like that's not a first round guy. I don't think he should be in there, but he's in there. Maybe it's just because of a need. Um, probably. Bo Nix, but I mean, he, it, that feels sure. like something that would happen, though, because there's no way you take him at 12. The trade back? Yeah. Yeah. He's probably yeah. the only guy that I feel like probably would. Yeah, no, I think everybody in this, every one of these guys probably end up being a first rounder. I'll be on a. Oh. You still there? Yo. Yes, that's it. Yeah. I. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, yeah, here's, here's the one thing I would surprise you. It doesn't go round one. Who doesn't go round one? I would almost bet. If I had a big spot, I had to put it back. I would bet that Newton doesn't go round one, or he goes at nine here to Chicago. Newton? Yeah, that'd be the. You think hey, he I doesn't go round one? I don't. I don't. I wouldn't bet on him going round one. No. That's crazy. I don't think Peyton Wilson goes run one. That's probably another goofy one we did. I'm with Honestly, that one, actually. I'm actually, I agree. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, I think you have all the goofy picks. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yo, that's actually crazy. I hey, yo, I, you I, 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 right I, there, the goofiness already broke the meter easy. I'm being real with you right here. The goofiness, you just, you just poured some of that goofiness over to me because it was all chill. I did have some goofy picks though. Damn, I'm looking at this. This might be, this could goofy. be goofy for me. McConkey 27 was that goofy? I like him a lot though. McConkey to the Chargers? No, that ain't goofy. That's not goofy. How'd you he's like going to the, elite elite to the uh, Chiefs? That was that was nice. Bro, you know it's going to be about timing there. Uh, they have trees over there at receiver. He offsets Josh Palmer and what they already have. That's not goofy. I like that pick. Jordan Morgan, but honestly, you're at 32, so I don't have an issue with it. Um, yeah, I, I think, think they, they want. You gotta go tackle at some point. I mean, you got a Hall of Fame quarterback. You probably want to keep him healthy. He's been playing long seasons too. Chad, what's yeah. the goofiest pick in here? I kind of like these picks. Nobody is talking about JJ at five. Um, I don't think it's insane because what we've heard. Like, I don't. I it seems expected that yeah, he's gonna go as high. Five a couple times. I mean, it's. I think it's expected, man. Yeah, I I don't know. There is there. I mean, I'll show the second round real quick. Um, yeah, how do you even Jack see Frazier? That? Oh my I think, god! I think we got a lot of the first round guys. Easy. That's 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 what I think when I'm looking at this. What did you say? I think I think we a lot we we drafted a lot of the first round guys in the first round. I think there's a couple guys maybe left out, but I think a lot of them we took. And because I'm looking at this list, like to me, Darius Robinson, I think he could be a first rounder. But if he fell out, would I be shocked? No, I think he's a first round type. But there's not many. Yeah. Like, yeah, there's not many that I think is just glaring. So I I know Darius is probably the safer pick, right? But like, do you really think on boards? 
that he's higher than Robinson Chop? Um, I for, I mean for me he would be. I guess it just depends because because they're different types. Like and I that's like a that's a cop out answer, but it's, it it is it was because like to me I like him better when he was playing edge, but they're like forty pounds different. You know, like like one guy he gives you more of the camp Jordan advice. Chop Robinson is like the quickness off the line, the bend around the edge. I feel like edge rushers are always going to get pushed up because they're edge rusher and people see value in that. And you could argue that Darius Robinson will be most effective against the run immediately. So like, and like we saw Josh, I think Darius Robinson, I'll put it like this. We drafted Josh Pascal. It's different drafts. But if you told me Josh Pascal, after doing the thing after we drafted him versus Darius Robinson, who's a better prospect, I would say Darius Robinson's a better prospect than Josh yeah. Pascal. And he was like, what, pick 40? So that's why it's a big reason I think he could slide into the back around one. But this round, I could, I think this draft is stronger probably than those drafts. Like, this, yeah. there's a lot of good players you looking at this first round. You know who, and I got to get going here because it's kind of late, but you know who yeah. like, I don't understand is getting, not getting hype is uh, a row, row, row. But I just, not. right. I, I don't know, man. I just, he just, he seems like a kind of like an athletic beast that you can move around and get kind of freaky with. I wonder, that's yeah. Cool. That's okay. Edge slash defensive you. tackle. I agree with you there. Actually, you turn me on Edwin Cooper though. That that guy, I'm very curious. He, if he goes to one of those teams with those offensive or defensive fronts, he could be a problem. Hey, he, I I'll make quick note on this. I was watching him right before we got on here, and there was a play because like you watch him in coverage, like there's concerns because like him trying to get depth. He plays everything straight up, so he's like struggles a little bit to change the direction. But like there was a play against Ole Miss where you know he was doing kind of what other linebackers do with they pass it off to the safety. So he plays like within five yards really well. It's like part of the reason we were talking about yesterday. It's like, yo, if you put him at Sam linebacker and you just let him play underneath, he'd be awesome because everything under five yards, he's going to fly around. Beyond that, you might have some issues just in movement. But there was the first play. They they ran a little out right right past him, and the guy was wide open, and he had to get in and make the tackle, but he was wide open. The very next time they flipped it, uh, it was the next drive, and they did the same exact route concept on him, and he drifted back a little bit further and watched him turn, and he jumped underneath the route. And I was like, bro, that was awesome. Because <laughs> the first time he left dude wide open, very next time he saw it, he jumps it. And I'm like, yo, that was awesome. <laughs> like, that alone got me hyped up about this dude because, like, he picked up from that last play. So, I think, bro, I think I think he'd be awesome as a lion. Let that man fall to us. I, I'd, love to, <laughs> I'd love to have him as a lion. Yeah, I'm not opposed. I'm really not. I don't think it happens, but I'm definitely not opposed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hey, Easy. I appreciate you joining, man. We went a long time here. So, yeah, let's get you out of here, man. Uh, Yeah, how long were you on for? Two hours and 20 minutes. <laughs> 40 minutes? 20. Two hours and oh. 20. I love you, Dan. Out, yeah. yeah. I'm out. Yeah, we got we got to get out of here, bro. So, we got 14 days till the mock. Uh, I'll, I'll keep messaging you because I'll probably, you know, be like, yo, we got to do some shows to get these in here. But definitely, yeah. hopefully, next week, we'll see. You know, we'll talk off stream. Um, And then, yeah, if you didn't see the graphic... Put it up one more time. I'm, just, I'm proud of it. This is what we're here for. Bang. Wait, you don't see it? Oh, there it is. No, I can't. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> Come on, man. I mean, it, it, Soaring Eagle Casino. Can we announce this? Are we allowed to say this? Yeah. We're allowed to say this. Yeah. Okay. So, Soaring Eagle Casino, NFL Draft, Night One. The Detroit Avengers. It's what's going to be there, man. So. I love it. Just can't. If, yo, if you don't have plans, man, maybe this maybe this should be the plan. <laughs> yo, maybe this should be the plans. Hey, man, I appreciate y'all for joining. We'll see y'all soon. Very soon. Uh, thanks, Easy. And thanks we're going to get out of here. <laughs>